not done yet. Come oh, on, yeah. we still have two, four plans to do. Did you do your swivel around in the shower yet? No, but all right then. Give me a little time. You get that done. <laughs> oh come oh, on! This is the shower to do that in. Too. Oh yeah. <laughs> to how to have fun outdoors, your outdoor adventure channel with the Leche and Tommy T. And boy, oh boy, do we got an amazing video for you today. That's right, our favorite 2023 Class B camper vans. We did this video last year. It was our third biggest video of the year with over 225,000 views in its first year. So you're gonna love this one. It's all 2023 models. So definitely check out our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share with your friends, and check out our website, howtohavefunoutdoors.com. Today we got all kinds of really great Class B's for you. You're going to love it. We're going to show you some of our favorites and uh, you're not going to believe some of the features that they've got on some of these new vehicles are amazing. That's right. We've got some at the Super Show down in Florida. We've got some from our videos. But we're going to give you a nice overview of all the different Class B's 2023 models. So let's go ahead and get started with the Leche. Leche. A liche in Italy yeah. and Alice, Alice in the United States. So we got the fifth wheelers and the queen of class B. So you run into all your other YouTubers here at the Super Ivy. And see, you didn't, even, you didn't even know you had another liche. Look at that, a fifth wheeler and a class beer. How about that? <laughs> look at there. Yeah, look at that. How you doing? Welcome to Industry Day. So tell us about Industry Day. What do we got going on? Here? It is an amazing show this year. There are a lot of new uh, releases that you're going to see throughout the show. Lots of great products. So, hey, let's get started with our 2023 Class B camper vans, our favorite. And how about this? The Integra Expanse. That's right, Integra Expanse. And this one is a brand new model for 2023. We own the 2021 Coachman Beyond, and we absolutely love it. And this particular product was a huge surprise for us at the show and one of the really nice Class Bs that we saw. Folks, the layout's almost exactly the same as the Coachman Beyond, but the fit and finish was outstanding. The features and benefits were great. Two-year warranty, this 23 Expanse 21B model was fantastic. Here's some of the specifications as here. It's also on that Ford Transit all-wheel drive that we love so much, gasoline powered. And take a look, it is beautiful. They did a great job, and Alicia is gonna walk through it with you now, so let's get going. New for 2023, the Expanse from Integra Coach. You're gonna love this, folks. It is on the Ford chassis. It is gorgeous. Integra has done an amazing job, and they've got a great price on this at the show today. There it is, 2023 Integra Expanse 21B, 194 MSRP, marked down to 138. This is as close as I've seen to the Coachman Beyond, and these guys have done an amazing job. Absolutely. For sure. This is pretty yeah. impressive. So let's walk outside first. We've got Aliche, the queen of Class Bs. Hello, everyone. She's, Ciao a tutti. Hey, <laughs> she's seen so many Class Bs all over the world. And uh, today we're going to show you this brand new model from the Florida RV Super Show. That's right. And we've got a great one to take a look at. This is way in the back, so a lot of people don't even, no. uh, probably haven't even seen this even at the show. <laughs> and we just stumbled across it and are super impressed. I mean, these guys, Tegra's done a great job with it. And uh, it's almost identical layout to the Coachman Beyond, but they've done a lot of nice things with this one. It's like they took that design and tied to, uh, you know, upgrade a little bit, and we'll show you some of those features and benefits. Absolutely. Uh, I think you're gonna be impressed. This, yeah. this is very similar to the 22C, they call it the 21B. But let's start from the outside, Aliche. So once again, you've got the big yeah, opening, yeah. and you've got the whole screen zipped out, netting for the screen, pocket here, and then you have your low point drain, which is pretty cool, so you know right where it's at. But here's what's cool, take a look. If you come in the back, right away, you're gonna see they've got outdoor speakers ready to go. And then they've got your outlets right here, all good to go. Come around the back and look what they've done. 
they have finished this all off already. So if yep. you watch any of our mod videos, uh, Aliche, show everybody back home. Oh yeah, you can check it out here. Uh, you see a lot of aftermarket or people actually doing modifications uh, to their Beyonds and other four chassis similar to this. This is already done. They've already done it for you, finished it off. And here's your water system, everything, tank fill, sanitize, city water, winterize. So you can't screw this up, uh, which is nice. really nice, which uh, they continue yeah. to struggle with ours at different dealers because, uh, you know, there isn't a simple system like this. And then obviously everything is back there. Clearly you've got your hitch, uh, all of your electronic connectivity. And then off the back, you see you've got this really nice logo that's on here, Expanse, and then look what they've done. They've got everything already here, your solar, you've got all of your 110s, you've got your cable, uh, power, city water, all of this built right in the side. Uh, obviously your generator down below. Dooley's again, and this is an all wheel drive, which is really nice if you live in the north and you got snow and those kind of things. Yeah really nice color good fit and finish looks really nice obviously the new front end on the uh, 2022 uh, chassis there this is a 23 though folks and what i'm referring to this used to be all blacked out and now it's one color so it looks really sharp but as you can see new for 2023 on that 350 hd all-wheel drive and there you go with some of the specs and it's got that Onan 2800 watt generator with the auto gen start, which is absolutely awesome. So here's a picture of the layout. We're gonna jump in there right now and uh, show you what we've got. You're gonna be impressed because the fit and finish on this is, is upgraded big time. So first and foremost, right down below, you can see here you got your main power shut off with the light, which is nice. Yep. Big handlebar right here. And then this is already there. So we added this on ours, yep. but they already have it. And uh, it flips up and it just extends that kitchen by so much, which is really great. And then you can actually set up a separate burner here in addition to this one, uh, which is nice, right? Yes, and we use it all the time. Right, and you can pass the food right out with this thing up. But take a look at the flooring, it's sharp very similar here um, and then swivel seats but the stitching they've done on here looks nice like some of the upgraded uh, higher end uh, Gretsch and some of the other ones that we've seen and take it away Aliche go through this thing with everybody back home and tell them what we got all right the first thing that you notice when you come in is how spacious it is and this is because we are losing the pizza oven that in some way is really nice to have but in this situation it gives you more brief and the freedom an idea of freedom. yeah you got a lot more head height to get in and out yeah. you swivel these which is a big plus but what but, they've done this is nice what they've done here with the 110 the yeah. usbs and the table yes. already set up yeah and the table is uh, uh, set up on this side so this is left uh, open you have here this area where you sit the table on and you have all your connections so once you turn this around this is a really nice st studio area that is very easy to use yeah you're going to be able to use your computer there yeah. everything uh, you know that makes a really nice desk setup yeah. Uh, similar to what you have in a Toronto and some of the other things. But take a look at here. You've got the flat screen, the big Ford chassis. This thing is awesome. Yeah. And no question about it, they've done a great job with that. And there's the hanger also. Yeah, we are also seeing here, this is a really nice plus. This is for hanging clothes. So if you yeah. have your jackets or anything, you can just hang them and leave it here. They are drying over here. You can put a towel if they are wet and they are easy to store. So this is a really nice extra point. LED lighting all the way down, a little curved action here, which is kind of cool, different. And yeah. then obviously you got your Firefly flat screen and if you come up top here, here's your fresh, your gray, your black, your house battery, chassis battery, start the auto gen uh, with that uh, actual generator. All of your light system here, master lights, pretty cool. And then over here is your AGS, which is really important. If you have dogs, cats, you wanna go to the store, you can set the temperature and this will automatically kick on the AC or automatically kick on the heater 
we use that quite a bit and it works out really well. Here's your climate control and then all of your other elements to this with your network diagnostics and you set your time here, your screen brightness and everything you need. So pretty standard. And uh, if you have this type of class B at this level, uh, they provide these, which is really nice. Obviously your clock system, yep. but let's go ahead and start with the bathroom. First of all, this might be the nicest bathroom door out yeah. of all the class B's <laughs> on the market today. So they just went all out, well, right? Well, first of all, you can lock it completely. Yeah. And this, we can't tell you how mm -hmm. huge that is because everybody's putting tie offs here. And with this system, it's locked and unlocked. I mean, that is colossal. Yep. That is finally a fix for that door shaking when you're going over potholes and rugged roads and everything Absolutely. else. Here is the bathroom, and as you can see, it's very nice and spacious. Way more spacious than other bathrooms. You have a, an area here for storage, a big mirror, and not the usual small mirror that you may put in a corner. But the best part of it is that there is actually another storage area. Oh, so come on. You got is, the storage in there, too. Yes. Fantastic. That is a little, little detail that make completely the difference when you are living this every day. The sink is here, nice faucets, really straightforward. And as far as space, uh, you have a plenty of space. And now I'm going to show you that the shower, really. Yeah, and the vent shower in the shower. So, really yeah, go I ahead, do it. the classic patented ooh, Leche ooh, twirl. Ooh, ooh, Lots ooh. of space in there, so you get a feel yes. for that. And because the door is just here, you can have uh, here all your area to actually store your uh, curtain. And then just close the curtain as easy as this and you don't have any problem. Wow, super awesome. Very nice. Very nice, great bath. Uh, you know, I love it. And these guys didn't chintz. I mean, they got the hardwood in here, really quality, nice hinges, yes. and that lockout. I mean, that is awesome. For sure, that is the way to go. Yep. I'd like to install that even on ours. <laughs> so, <laughs> super cool. So, no question about it. All right. So, let's walk over here and check out the uh, galley. What do we got? Well, the galley is uh, another big winner in this van. First of all, as you can see, it's a deep uh, galley. So while in our sour uh, cooktop is actually turned because it's a smaller galley, you lose a little space here in movement. Yeah. But what you gain is more space for working area. But what you gain the most is da -da, convection over microwave. Finally, they figured it out oh. in this class B with the Ford Transit. You've yeah. got the convection and the microwave together. Yeah. And take a look at the cabinetry. Yeah, the cabinetry really, is really nice. nice. Even under the sink, as you can see. And look at all the room in here. I mean, that's crazy. Yep. Really nice. Another drawer here. Yeah. Super nice. Big, you know. The sink is actually good dimension for a class B. Nice stainless, really stainless steel. steel one. Nice faucet. The faucet is nice. And, and look over at that. here you have all of these cabinetries. And as you can see, they are quite a big dimension. Yeah, of. this thing is. Yeah, they have And I like lock. the chrome inlay. They got the nice lockout. They have the lock here. So you need to push this to open it. Yeah, they've thought about all the rattling issues and resolved it. But once again, really nice fit and finish. The curved panels, all the white yeah. with the darker wood, kind of that tuxedo feel. Really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Love the way it looks and feels. Yep. Yeah. All right, here what do we, we got here? A, this one's unique. So this yeah, one's a biggie. It's a different refrigerator and it's huge, as you can see. Wow. A little uh, like in, uh, like a uh, small as far as the dimension on this side, but it's yeah. super tall. But so I'd you like gain to compare that cubic space. footage. It's got to be pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty similar in my opinion. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you, Tommy T. All right, let's move uh, to the next uh, part uh, of the van. That is the, the other storage area. So over here, as you can see, we have the ability to um, hang a clothes in the in the entrance, but also here. Yeah, there's your closet, and they've and got a one. They've got the cable in there. That's pretty nice, along with the outlet. Too. Yes, and over here they store the table. Um, that uh, it goes here. So obviously you have uh, this uh, holder. Yeah. Holder. 
And this comes with a two-year warranty, which is really nice. nice uh, but take a look at the stitching. I mean, this was one of the things we were blown away by. I mean, this is high ends, you know. Very comfy. Very comfy, high end, something like you see in the higher end brands. Yeah. And they've got it in this model at that price point, which is really nice. I love how they have, you know, all the little storage areas, cup holders, seat belts all built in. Yep. So and you can have people over here and, and look on at the other side. 110s, you have your reading lights, pretty cool. Up and down on the bed, you've got your TV here, which is good to go really nice and you know once again they could have just put a plain old shelf you know cabinet uh, here but instead they've got that frosted glass looks really nice uh, i mean the fit and finish is great don't really, you think really great and when you think about the little details one thing that i never uh, uh, really pay attention but is the way these the windows open yeah so you just do like this yeah. and they open up and, and you, you get, get that your cross fresh breeze air, right really, through there. Really nice. Yeah, and you well, got a bigger one here, which is nice. Yeah. Obviously, you got the big screen that's going to let a lot of air in. Yeah. No question about it. Before you go away, remember it is a secret and additional spot on this that we don't have in our. Yeah, the this, of this this drawer. drawer uh, whoever did this, congrats, because yes. you took advantage of some extra space there. And yep. take a look at that. That's a big drawer to put a lot of stuff in, yep. along with all of these upper cabinets here. You know, so they've done a nice job on this Ford chassis. And as you see, these jump seats seem almost bigger also. I don't know how they did that. But in any case, you do have the Lagoon table. That's going to be really nice back here. It's almost set He's up as a dinette. Side. So it's set up right there. And then down below, you've got all the different setups here. So this is... This is really nice. I mean, I like it a lot. So, Aliche, what do you think overall? I mean, the two-year warranty, great price points, brand new for 2023. This is a pretty sweet 24-inch LED smart TV. Got the cable. You got it all. I mean, this thing is nice. Yeah, it's absolutely a really great uh, unit. A lot of uh, winning uh, little details that uh, they make it uh, very unique. Once for all, for sure, the convection oven. The second is the, the storage. A little storage in the toiletries uh, this additional drawer underneath the cabin uh, the uh, the seat here in the back these are really little things that make the difference in your everyday life yeah so, i mean it's got a 28 gallon uh, fresh water 17 on the gray 19 on the black uh, um you know that overall uh exterior uh, height on the, the interior height. I mean, if you're a tall person, is at 78 inches. Very good. Uh, 148 on the wheelbase. Overall length is 22 feet exactly. Um, so, you know, it's the classic four chassis, Coachman Beyond, that type of vehicle. And uh, it does have the, the uh, wine guard Wi Fi system in it. Uh, 1000 watt inverter. That's a little low. The competitors uh, in this space uh, have 2000. It's got the AGM. I'm not sure if you can get lithium on it. We'll look into that. Uh, but for the standard equipment, that's what's listed. Um, but overall, really, really nice. I'm impressed with the fit and finish. And, uh, you know, tell, tell us what you think. What, what do you think of this compared yeah. to the other Ford uh, camper vans out there on the transit and this type of layout with the uh, power bed that folds down into the bed? Yeah. Love the two-year warranty. Love the stitching. Love all of that. I mean, I think these guys have done a great job. Yep. You add lithium to this, you add a big uh, inverter on this, and uh, you're talking about one heck of an awesome absolutely, camper van. So. Absolutely. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Please uh, let us know your comments and critics and the point of view. We really love uh, to hear from you. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and thank you so much for watching. How, How do we have, have fun, fun outdoors? outdoors? All right, we're just getting started. We got another brand new model. This one's a 4x4 and you're going to absolutely love it. The Thor Sanctuary 4x4 Class B camper van. Let's take a look. All right, folks, here we are. That's right, we're at the Super RV Show in Tampa, Florida, one of the biggest RV shows in the country. And today we've got a special video for you. That's right, the 2023 Sanctuary 4x4. Boy, does this thing look sharp from Thor. They've went after the other guys with their first 
beautiful 4x4 and we're gonna show it to you. You're gonna love this video. Let's go take a look and let's jump to the inside right away so you can see what this thing looks like. So right before we get on top of the uh, inside on the camper van, take a look at here, folks. Really nice step up and I love this flip out. Flips down and here you can do your secondary induction types cooking. So when you're outside, you've got one person here can hand stuff over from the stovetop inside in the galley, or you're cooking on the outside with your nice picnic table, etc. So really nice design, good fit and finish. The quality of this is outstanding. So let's go ahead and jump on inside. Big handle grip here, as you can see. Also have some outlets right here and your knobs and also your fire extinguisher. As we jump up here, folks, you can see really nice floor laminate really looks good and take a look come on up and what a beautiful design very open similar to like the Gretsch concept where you got a lot of this extra height brand new 2023 chassis just absolutely gorgeous we've shown this chassis many times now so you should be up to speed with that with all the safety features and everything that Mercedes has done real quality seats uh, they've done a nice job with this so we walk over you can see we've got a nice microwave Nice stainless steel finish to it. And look at here, a big old fridge. <coughs> Looks great. Down below, you've got that extra storage with your water system. Pretty cool. And then over here, as we jump onto the galley, you love this part, Aliche. You can look out, hand out food, and you've got a nice kitchen top looking out through the door. So big sink here, nice kitchen countertop. And as you can see, Look at here, folks, nice drawers all the way across. Obviously, you have another induction top that you can pop right on here as you cook on the inside. All right, so as we come back, we're gonna take a look at here. Look at this, you can put your shoes, different things to hold in there, and then we're gonna have the bathroom. Let's pop that open so everybody can see. And real nice mirrored area. Look at here, all your connections, all of your shower heads, uh, curtains that wrap around. Pretty cool, so pretty standard bath there. Obviously this flips down and then you've got your little sink set up also where she can come across and vent out. So pretty cool. And then over here you got your buttons for your fan and your light, so both are here. So pretty nice bathroom overall on this size unit. Clearly what you're getting here is an off-road four by four with a little nicer fit and finish overall. So again, nice cabinets. Take a look at this, beautiful. These things are gorgeous. Look at the chrome inlays, really nice design. Uh, you gotta like this as an Italian liche, really good quality Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, it's beautiful. And then take a look at here, very nice classic design back here where you've got you know, the fold down bed, you've got your sofa, they do have you know, the DOT uh, seat belts, and then you've got your standard TV as you come around here, liche. You can see, um, pretty standard this is such a popular design in the industry so what you're really getting is a mercedes a nice four by four built out um, and they've done a nice job with the with the look and feel of it if you will ac up top got some led lights there um, also these are some pretty cool windows the way they're set up uh, but overall um, you've got some usbs over here and uh, your standard outlet and then a big closet right here so this is a lot like the 22 uh, C on the beyond it almost looks identical from back here the way this sets with the with the shower etc so overall that's it let's go take a look at the outside you've got a firefly up here this is your flat screen touch control truma uh, as you can see and we'll walk around and then clearly a pretty cool outside design with this 4x4 so as we swing over here, you got the big bike rack on here. Four by four, swing around the back, Liche. Here is your hitch setup down here, your outlets right here. Pretty sweet overall. You pop that open, you can see how this is all configured in. So they've put a lot in here in a small amount of space. Obviously, you've got your different water setups and uh, all your tank action, your ladder built in right here, which is pretty sweet. Wrap around this side. You got your sewer hose connection here. 
That's your propane down here. Come around, you got your Truma, and then you've got your city field and your outlets here. So nice, you got your cable and then your 30 amp right here. Nice little light feature on the side. That's nice to keep everything lit up. And uh, clearly nice step up here and a cool color design. So overall, just a quick view of this here at the trade show at the Super RV show down in Florida. Wanted to give you a quick glimpse of this. There's another 4x4. If you haven't seen our other 4x4 videos, definitely check them out right here. Wow, Thor did a great job with that. Check out all of our 4x4 camper van model videos. We've got so many of them, and we've got one more big surprise 4x4 from Airstream that you're going to absolutely love. And then we've got all of our other favorite standard traditional Class B camper vans. No question about it, you're going to love this video for sure. Go grab a sandwich, get ready to go. We're going to show you a bunch of models now, folks. And like I had mentioned before, if you haven't seen our 2022 video, check this one out. It is absolutely amazing. We go through all kinds. We also launched this year the best luxury class B and B pluses. But let's get started with the rare one. That's right, the Airstream Interstate X. Let's go check it out. Right, we got a special video for you. We were getting ready to leave this show for media day. And luckily enough, How to Have Fun Outdoors was asked to come and take a look at some of these Airstreams. And I'm glad we did, because there's a couple of versions here we did not expect to see. The first one, that's right, you probably haven't seen this yet at home. This is the Airstream Interstate X. That's right, four-wheel drive X. You don't see them too often, we're going to show it to you now. Beautiful Mercedes chassis, big four, we have four-wheel drive wheels. Look at the size of this. This is super beefy, super strong. Got the big X going on here with the Airstream. Sharp looking rig overall. As you can see, this thing is extended. This is way down here. Lots of room on this Interstate X four wheel drive. So let's go check a look at the inside. You're gonna like this. This is pretty sharp. Overall, you got a big screen that folds down here. You got a portable cable for the outside that comes off here. Another screen here. So grab handle, come on up. We've got that gorgeous brand new 2023 chassis from Mercedes. And boy, do these guys do a great job. Look at the different color gray inlay with the beautiful, I mean, this is super sharp. I mean, no question about it. Airstream did a great job on that, folks. And the quality of the leather is just fantastic. Goes really well. The Airstream guys definitely matched up the colors with the Mercedes dash, super sharp. And then over here, you've got a control system. Really nice, open, no pizza oven. Your, all your controllers are obviously behind this cabinet here, super sharp. You got a little bit of everything, your Xantrax, all your good stuff here. And then come on over, take a look. Look at, we've got storage right off the bat. If you come in, but what I really like is these shelves. Look how nice that is, they come in, come out. Look at that, perfect. And as we swing this over, you got the big fan up front. You've got uh, all this nice, you know, stainless kind of look with the LED lights. You got the mood lighting in here, super nice. And like I talked about, the shade that you can just pop down, super cool. Then look here, folks, you got a nice sink, LED lighting coming around here, really classy. And then the double burner. But look at the size of this kitchen counter in a class B <laughs> four by four. How cool is that? And then down here, you've got all kinds of extra storage in these storage bins, which are kind of cool. And then you have all of these slide outs. So one of the things that's really unique about this model is that you have a big galley and you've got tons of storage and everybody wants more storage in a class B. That's what you get with this extended chassis with the four x four. So let's as we come down here, take a look, look at this. This is the classic touch by Airstream. And there you go, folks. Let's go, go ahead and look in there. You'll see the nice bathroom setup, toilet, sink, you name it. There's there, the shower, LED lighting. They've done a nice job on that all together. Looks really, really good. On this side, straight across, you have your microwave, upper storage here, and then obviously your AC up in this area. So we're going quick because it's the end of the night and we're trying to get through this so we can show you this cool model that we didn't expect to see. And then take a look at here. Look at these connects in here, all the extra storage that you can put up in here. If you're off-roading, hiking, fishing, this is a pretty nice rig. 
it's quality, it's Airstream, and then obviously this typical setup here where you can put in the e-bikes, the scooters, the kayaks, all kinds of good stuff, nice fishing poles, and then this folds into a bed, and then obviously you can lift that to whatever height that you want. You've got all these cool reading lights that just pop on and off, super slick, and you've got those in all four corners, one over here, one over there, and then the speaker system, really, really great design. And then come down here, you got your table connect uh, for your Laguna table, fuse box, control systems, and everything that you need. These also have the DOT seat belts. So if you want to throw a bunch of people in here to go off-road, you can do it. Another flat screen back here, folks. You can see that's all set up with the Timberline heating system. You've got outlets back in the corner here. This is one cool rig. And we've showed you some of those other 4x4 rigs. And uh, this one is, uh, this is uh, Airstream's take on it. And I think they've done a pretty good job. The quality, the fit and finish, it's really, really nice. Let's go back outside and just finish the walk around so everybody can see that. But overall, I would say this is a five out of five. I'm impressed with the design for sure. And as you swing around this way here, folks, you can see we've got that interstate badging we talked about through the back and what's so nice about this is that if you want to put whatever you can just slide it right in just like a toy hauler that's a nice feature here's your hitch system electrical on this side will swing around and then as you can see we've got your power coming in off of here really clean look once again everything is put away really nice and you know as you can tell this is a, a really sharp unit so overall airstream x that's right the interstate x special edition four-wheel drive hope you love this video tell us what you think down below we'd be interested in your views on this the, you know you got the storytellers you got the reveal you got all these different four by fours that we've showed you tell us what you think of this one from airstream and definitely hit that like button we love the x and we've got some more airstreams later in the video but let's switch over to one of our big favorites for 23 the coachman nova take a look at this uh, for sure all right so 2023 Nova on the new ProMaster chassis. We'll get into that. One of the things I always highlight on these, and Alicia was just telling me off camera that when she was a kid growing up in Italy, that her van had this type of window. This type of yeah. window. And it's kind of funny because they're called Eurovision. Yeah, <laughs> so you see? They yeah. are European windows. They are, they're like a plastic resin of some sort. Yeah, it's a polycarb, it looks like. Polycarb, Pretty nice. Very yeah. cool, dual pane. And they're awning house. They go all the way up, all the way down. And it's nice because when it rains, you can still have the window open. You can still have the window up a little bit. Yeah. Rain won't get in. You got fresh air. You have the rain going out here. And, and then uh. the screens also. So if you did want to have it up and you don't want bugs in, and here in Florida, we have mosquitoes the size of your dogs that fly oh. around. Yeah. Ooh. And they just buzz around everywhere. <laughs> Look at these things. Yeah. So these mosquitoes <laughs> buzz around, and, and these screens, they'll run into the screen and put a hole in it. They're so stinking big. <laughs> but, yeah. and then you have nighttime, which is nice. So this, this is the nighttime shade, and this is the daytime shade. So even with these cool windows open, now this is not an option. This is standard on every Coachman Nova. All right. Wow. Very, very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Very Coachman nice. also is very unique in their insulation. They do two different types of insulation. I'm sure you guys have it on your Beyond. Yeah. They do a rock wool insulation. They also do a cozy wrap, it's called. Ooh, so I like they the wrap, name. They wrap the whole inside of the coach with this cozy type of material that goes right up against it and it stops the heat from getting into the coach. Oh, okay. And then you have the rock wool underneath it. So you have lots of insulation. Yeah. Um, very, uh, it makes it where you can use it all over the country all year round. Yeah, we have the cozy wrap and Aliche, you know, you can oh, tell yeah. everybody we've camped, winter camped in up in Vermont and New Hampshire skiing, and skiing. Like, and if we, if we have a snowstorm and it was so cozy inside. Yeah. Like we actually slept for more than 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, in a snowstorm. Awesome. We got caught in a snowstorm. Wow. Caught and in the RV in a snowstorm. yeah, and we, uh, we had the heat turned on and and uh, we've been together now uh, over seven years, and that was the longest we ever slept. Yep. Was in a Coachman <laughs> Beyond in a snowstorm. That's cool. But it was nice and cozy in there. It was awesome. That's cool. All yeah, right. So, so let's. As, as we walk through, you can see nice, big, and white. As you walk to the back, with this being a rear bath. And there's your outlets right there, folks. Yep. You got so those. There are with outlets the under the awning. So it's a power awning that comes yep. out. There's outlets there, so you can have a 
griddle there. You can put a speaker. You can all do all kinds of cool things. Hook Perfect up your location. portable TV, the whole nine yards, yeah. Yeah, so really neat. People really like the rear bath for this is one of the reasons. Wow. You can open these doors. You have access to the whole coach from the back. So it does kind of keep it open instead of having like a couch back here that closes it off. It is wide open. So for big guys like me, the rear bath is nice because it gives you a little extra elbow space. room. So when you're in it, you have space to dance. So you can spin. Show oh, us how you dance. I just got, <laughs> I only dance when I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so lots of space. You do have a screen back here as well. Very easy to use. And then Tommy, I don't know if you can jump in yep, there and see. Absolutely. Lots of storage. Wow, look like at that. I mentioned, these are these cabinets are made by the Amish, and I've actually been up there and seen the Amish community. Yeah, really Beautiful nice. people, and they work really hard on their cabinetry. I mean, top, top-notch cabinets. Nice, big, yeah. big drawers. Coachman does an amazing job working with the Amish on this. We were out there in Indiana visiting Nick, and by the way, a shout-out to both of these Nicks, because when we started off as a little channel, you know, both of them were kind enough to do videos with us. And now we're over 2 million views and uh, tons of subscribers. Uh, and these guys have been helping us out from day one. So Rocky thank you, Nick. And, and uh, a big reason, a Rocky and Gypsy. What are they <laughs> Gypsy, Gypsy, Gypsy. Gypsy. There you go. Gypsy like a Gypsy is called Gypsy because she travels everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's so why we Rocky, gave her the name. Well, Rocky was before when we got the bag. Gotcha. Yeah, it's there you go. Super Rock. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But they Have do. Have you seen the cartoon Rocky and Bullwinkle? No. It's a American cartoon. Okay. Yeah. Rocky that's and Bullwinkle. That's why I keep thinking Rocky and Bullwinkle. Well, we can call it Bullwinkle Perfect. today. All right. Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so but, Rocky and Bullwinkle travel the country with you guys. Yeah. And that's why your YouTube channel has grown a bunch, I think. Yeah, yeah I, guess, I think so. Uh, I think it's got to do with all the Yorkies right there. Abandoned dog. Like, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Very so, cool. Like I was back to the RV. Yeah. <laughs> lots of space, lots of room. As yep. you're sitting, you have lots of space as well. You know, sometimes you feel real confined. Yeah. So, so, so this is nice as you're showering, brushing Big mirror up there. Take a Big look at mirror. that. Yeah. You have some privacy there. And how many feet is this? 20 feet. So, it's so a this is 20 master. feet yep. and you've got all this. That's yep. pretty cool. That's pretty yep. awesome. And yeah. And all the storage for the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, lots oh, of, storage. lots of storage. Nice. Four pairs of shoes in here. Three pairs of shoes here, in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. and some flip flops. Look in here. So I got you ten pairs of shoes right here. Thanks God, I have Nick. Ah. Nick solved all my problems. Yeah, very very nice. And the awesome. cabinets, honestly, when you look at other campers and you know fifth wheelers and toy hall, there's just no comparison, no comparison. to this Amish no fit and finish. No um, in fact, when we were out at the Coachman Rally, yeah. uh, they have reps for the different size, you know, Class Bs, Class Cs. And they got into one of these and they were like, wow, what, how does this work? And yeah. uh, it's much, much stronger. Really yeah. high quality. So Coachman does a great job with these. We've had great luck with ours. No issue whatsoever yeah. since we've owned it for two years yeah, and cool. uh, really enjoy it. Yeah. So all right. You, walk through, you want to jump in? You want to jump in here? You well, let's finish yeah, the outside and then we'll come back in. Yeah. So we can show everybody there and look at there. Yeah. Look at that. A built in uh, toilet uh, paper right there. Nobody likes wet toilet paper. Tommy. Yeah. You got to like that. It Nobody was tough to find during paper. COVID, oh, but a uh, <laughs> little ladder on here too, huh? Does that come with it or is it that? Does. A... It does. So the ladder. Wow. I so love the ladder. Clean the roof, check out the solar panels. Yeah. All that stuff. So all that is up on the roof. That's very awesome. cool they also have the optional bike rack so you can put a bike rack here that can hold a couple bikes you have a tow hitch so you can put one of those nice fancy boxes that you have on yeah. yours yep stow away show stow everybody away. check, out check that there. video right yeah. there yeah you can, uh, we even show you how to fill up the stowaway show oh, that yeah. video yeah. right there all yeah, right very area. good i don't know what you guys are pointing at we yeah that's the that we show the video clip there the thumbnail so <laughs> so as we're going you got your sewer connection for the toilet right there. It doesn't have to travel right far. Yeah. This is really neat as well. So this is the smart plug. So this smart plug is to where when you plug it in, it latches in here. Yeah. And it shows a light when it's making good connection. Awesome. You know, a lot of issues we have with, with people in older campgrounds with inconsistent power sources yeah. is inconsistent power. And then they don't plug their cord in all the way. They're getting inconsistent power from from the power pole, and so that causes a lot of issues. So having a plug that uh, that goes in there really firm, holds in there, shows a light, 
really solves a lot of electrical problems right. in, in class B or E's. So now you also have your water fill here, your city water. And I like that all of it's waist high. I'm yeah. not bending down to fill this. I'm not bending down. To, no, I mean, you're going to have to bend down to do some things. Um, that I'm is your, 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 your outside shower. Yep. So there's, there's a hose you put on there and then a shower. That is to extend your solar panels. So if you want to, you can buy three or 400 watts extra of solar. And then you can just plug that in there and that will charge your batteries even more. That is very smart. So Aliche, tell everyone back at home, because some people say, well, when would you ever use this outdoor water spigot <laughs> setup? We took the dogs to the beach and oh, yeah. what they happened? Were, they were a mess. They just had a great time. Let's say like that. Right. And then we just uh, hold them up and uh, got all the sand water. off them. Yeah. They loved it. I can tell you. Really so loved. it worked and uh, yeah. it was a great you job by coaching. Down too, yeah, there you go. Yeah. We do every time. Yeah. There we, go, there we, go. we don't let Tommy shower. In More the windows. Look at that. A lot so, of windows. So lots of windows. Oh, this I is very neat. Kitchen, she got a big one. one there. She got cross wind there. And then here is the same. She had the kitchen here. Yeah. So so nice breeze, nice fresh air. And then the same, the same is there. You have a screen. So if you're cooking here yep. and you and you really want to have uh, fresh air, you can pull this down here. And there's your screen. Yep. So you have fresh air. And if it's nighttime. Obviously, you got your nighttime yeah. shade as well. So, Man, what's so cool about that, Alicia? I just realized you could be outside uh, serving people food from the well, galley, you know? My mom always did that. Did she? Yeah. Yeah, okay. she was passing me everything, and I was setting up the table outside, and we didn't have to use the door. What was your mom's wow. favorite thing to cook? Oh, pasta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was well, in the van, yeah. it's, like, it's easy, right? Yes, it's, yes. It's an very easy, easy dish to do. Very easy. So, Pretty cool. The coachman has this nice firm step here, um, and it's and it has good grip on it. You know, something that's real important when you're getting in and out of the RVs when it's wet or snowy, yeah. uh, to have good grip on your step. Um, something else that's neat, and then this is what 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 I was mentioning earlier about being on the new chassis. This is the uh, the new ProMaster upgraded chassis. So the nine-speed transmission, nice big screen. That is the new design on the leather. They've I was going to say, that's all new, right? They've upgraded the cushions, upgraded the seats. Really, really nice high-end look and feel to they it. They look really nice. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And this new uh, Ram, I mean, take a look at the interior wow, design. Comfy. Much nicer than the older design. Whoa. Look at that full digital dash. Super sweet. Yeah. What do we have in here for a dry train? What are we yeah, looking so at? Yeah, so this is a uh, 3.5 liter V6 engine. It uh, has a nine-speed transmission, which is an upgraded transmission. And some people probably say, what do I care about an upgraded transmission, right? Yeah. And lots of reasons why you care. Better gas mileage, smoother shifting, uh, much more comfortable to drive. Yeah. Um, and then it also has lots of extra safety features as well with the blind spot assist, post-collision braking, uh, crosswind detection, lots wow. of new safety features as well. That's cool. And then, and then here you have this nice big navigation screen that has Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay. Uh, you also have Alexa, so you can say, "Hey Alexa," Ooh. and you can talk to we it. We like Alexa. Wow, yeah. that's nice. And then, and then as you're going through, check this camera out. This is a really cool Whoa. bird's eye view camera and camera and there's lots of different views to it so you can keep look pressing those buttons yeah keep pressing those buttons aliche take a look at that look at these it's Isn't that neat? Awesome. so some are in front so that's a front camera that's another front camera and that's another rear camera Looking so down lots of cool there's an x on the top there All right. so lots of cool different views you also have the bird's eye view which people really like that as well yeah. See that, Aliche? So when you become the big YouTube star, you have all those paparazzis all around the van. <laughs> now you're able to check them out right there on your big flat screen. Yes. Thank you, Nova. Look at this. So that digital. Is a digital rear view mirror. Um, some people love being able to see out the rear view mirror, even though there's a lot of stuff in the RV. So that is the digital rear view mirror as well. <laughs> yeah. And then you can have it be non-digital if you don't like that. If you just like being Let's a, flip it over. a normal mirror, you just press a yeah. button. Wow. So lots of cool features up here. Lots of chargers, 
Hey, there's a uh, extra storage compartment over there. Oh, look at there. Oh, Come oh, on, Alice. Oh, there oh, you go. My favorite part of the van. You can put your maps in there. Yep, all kinds well, of cool stuff. Well, the maps are because we are in 1950. Here. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. maps around with them. <laughs> And look at there, you got the C's also, huh? Yeah, and the standards. Chargers. Yeah, 12 volt DC, a yeah. little bit of everything. Push button here, so you can start it right off the key fob too, yep, right? the key fob is right in there. You don't even need to put the key in the ignition. Everything is, the key can be in your purse or your pocket, and you just start the car, walk up to it, doors open, all that. So the same technology, Tommy, that you're used to in your nice cars yeah. are now in all of your class B RVs. Yeah. So, That's pretty awesome. This so is very, quite very the nice. upgrade though. Much cleaner look, uh, nice design. Look at that brushed aluminum look on the Ram there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But overall, this, this is a nice upgrade for the 2023 model. Really, they did a great job with this. No question they about it. They did 100%. Everybody, all right. Everybody who drives this after driving another one, says there's a world of a difference, world of a difference. Super cool, let's go check out the interior. Right. This Ready thing out, yes. the Lithium 2023. We got a nice one here. Let's check out this uh, Nova from Coachman. Nice big step here before nice you walk in. Step. Look and at check that. This, out. this is a screen. Nice. Like that. So it stops the bugs from coming in and out, keeps the dogs in. That's good. Very, Very good. Nice. Big nice old big handle, handle grip. Handle. Look People at that. Love those big handles. Wow. Yes. And they you, love the big handles. So you both, swing around. Both these seats swivel. There is a table there, table there to where you can have a little dinette up here. There's 110 power there. So if you're sitting here and you need to work from the table here, you can plug in your laptop there, yeah. plug in a TV, and, and you, you can work right there. This one also swivels around. Jam on both. Oh. Very good. Facing here, isn't that nice? And nice and easy. And you can be close to the kitchen, so you can still cook. And You're sit. always close to the kitchen in the Class B RV. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always close. But it's not a lot of space, so it's right. <laughs> Twenty feet. But you know what I like about this? You, all the windows. I mean, see how open yeah. that is, and uh, and just really wide open. It, it just looks so fresh and clean in here. So these are the white cabinets. Coachman offers a maple cabinet as well. So you have white cabinets and you have maple in here. Um, this one has the rear bath, so it does have the twin beds. Yep. Um, it, it has a smaller fridge here in the kitchen. It has a microwave, has an induction stove. So that's nice with a, with a separate freezer there. Yep. Very nice. Very cool. So standard of, microwave. Yep, standard microwave. Couple drawers. Okay. Oh, nice. They cover for the sink. Yep. Induction on the top. Induction. Nice big pass-through window like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. You, I mean, you can cook this up and just hand it out. That's pretty awesome. So this is all the fancy stuff here. You know, something, so Coachman uses an Li3 lithium um, model. And so their lithium model is 630 amp hours. It is one of the best in the industry. I will tell you, Coachman has done a phenomenal job with their lithium. This is a really nice monitor here. So you can see it's at 99% right now. Um, and then as, as you kind of go through this here, you can also see in one minute, it'll be fully charged. And then, and then from there you will have, let me see here. So then from there you can look and see, so battery health is also a hundred percent. Yeah. But if you look at my phone right here, Tommy, yeah. this is the same information that you're getting on that monitor right wow. there. So you can see that we are fully charged. That's why it says time remaining zero and 99%. So if you notice this, when I turn the engine off, yeah. you'll notice that that's gonna change to two days and three hours. That's so awesome. at what's on right now, which is all the lights in the fridge, yep. this RV can run for two entire days with what's on right now. And this phone tells you the exact same information that is that on that control. Is now. on this controller right here. So there's your two days, three hours, two days, four hours. So the exact same information that's on my phone is on that controller there. Wow. So no matter where you are, if you're in bed, middle of the night, and you're like, and you wake up because you might be out of power, you pull up your phone, you're like, oh good, I got another three hours left, and then you- That's good. Wait. I'm so, glad I have to wake up. <laughs> yes, yes, you know when you gotta wake up. So nice Firefly, the Firefly controls everything. There's also an app for that on your phone. Um, these do have tank heaters for the tanks that are outside, which which is only the gray tank, which is nice. It has the Truma system. It has a Xantrax inverter and a, and a tons of solar on the roof. 
So Coachman does a great job with putting everything here at eye level, Tommy, so you can see it and, and really be interactive with it. Yeah, yeah that's and nice. And everything in one spot, and mm -hmm. I think it's very convenient too. Yeah. Yes. Like that. yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Coachman also has a digital owner's manual, so it's all on their website. You can download the app and you can access everything from their website. So very nice and easy to use that. Fantastic. Super cool. Coachman does a great job. Yes. Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, it's we easy. are really happy. We are really happy. How long have you guys had your Beyond? Well, almost two years. Wow. And uh, it's been a phenomenal. Like, we love everything, the way it's organized, the quality of everything, and and the service, and the people that work in, in, in that brand. Yeah, yeah and if I you're would. if you're just thinking about purchasing a Class B, it's not only the Class B, but it's all the experience and yeah. memories yeah. That are created with the class b right i mean 100%. with the rallies you guys do an amazing job nick with the ocala rally yeah, last a, year we had 50 that's right 50, 50 yeah. coachman beyonds and show everybody the link to those videos oh, Aliche, yes, right did. there we did four people. videos on that rally and what's great is it's you get everybody together it's like yeah. uh you know something you've never seen before where everybody has a different background All comes from different country. parts of the country yeah. and you build up relationships and uh it's, it's a different way actually to live in the same bag like everybody make their own home and they set it up and they organize in a different way yeah so, in, in fact really if you check idea. out those videos you're going to see a lot of different interior decoration it's a lot of mods that people have done oh, to them also of mods. you guys did a good video on modifications yeah and uh there's a lot of different modifications yeah. that people do on on them but what's cool is so last year was the second year we did it we had 50 beyonds come yeah this year we released the signups we had 150 people sign up wow for the rally. We, there's only like 50 spots though so i feel really bad but we're doing a big dinner we're doing live music one night we're doing a breakfast so we're like having the i, I mean it's gonna be the coolest time i'm, I'm kind of rubbing it in because you guys won't be there yeah but it's gonna be the <laughs> best time ever this year yeah Liche yeah. and i are gonna be out in california unfortunately but uh, we should fly back and just spend yeah we could try to fly back for a day that yeah, we, we could try to that. do that, try to plan for that. <laughs> yeah yes, yes. all so right so let's look at the, the rest kitchen. of this yeah as we continue look at this nice some nice little drawers right here something to use a little extra space a little extra space all the way through a little cabinet there yeah smart 24 inch smart tv so it can be tucked away if you don't need it but it can also be pulled out for wherever you use it you do have a stereo here, so you can Bluetooth to this, and you can get music yep. all throughout your coach. Um, you can also Bluetooth to your TV or, or whatever you do to to broadcast stuff from your phone on your TV. Hey. And we had we had fun with that little stereo in ours. We oh, yeah. visited uh, Graceland. If you haven't seen that video, oh, yes. check that out for sure. And we did the campground also uh oh, there at graceland Land. but we walked out of there with a uh, cd with uh, love music from elvis and we listened to that for the next 800 miles <laughs> <laughs> and uh we were having fun and now at the back of our class b we've got the uh, taking care of business uh oh, sticker on there from elvis himself so it's pretty cool yeah, but after that visit that was a lot of fun but it another great like reason you can take your class b in anywhere and see a lot of great places yeah no the the stories that i hear from people all over the country where they use these the way they're gonna use them the places they go i mean you guys have uh a place up north that people stop it all the time i hear you yeah know? I mean, it's just, everyone connects with people on facebook and through youtube and they just make so many relationships and so many lasting connections yeah. that are really cool because of being able to travel yeah. one of these. and so, meet yeah. to somewhere and just do experiences yes. together that yeah. is always awesome very yeah. neat very I've, I've met some of the coolest people in the world through this yeah. this uh these class b so all very right nice nice big twin beds you know something yeah. else that people really like is to have this walkway open through the middle you know yeah. to where you can store stuff in here you can have the dog sleep down there on the bed you can have cats in here you have any we have a lady yeah. coming to the rally that has a bird <laughs> a bird like a, a real, bird all I right yeah. <laughs> See, now you gotta fly to the rally and meet yeah. it you're gonna be in California. There you go. So there'll be a bird at the rally. We got cats. Everybody has a dog. So there's gonna be so much cool stuff. But yeah. people like having the alleyway. They like having the rear baths. It's wide open. And then you have twin beds. So very comfortable. This does kind of move around. There's plugs everywhere. Some people have CPAP machines and all yeah. that other stuff. You got plugs here. There's plugs 
up there. Um, you can put a TV here if you want. Yeah. Um, there is it's a cable. Yeah. There's there's connection there. And Alicia, behind your head is the other Firefly. So that is, okay. a, big, that is. a big Firefly. Yeah. So you can also control everything at night while you're sleeping. If you get hot or cold, yep. you want lights on or off, you can control everything right there as well. Yeah, show everybody those reading lights, Alice, how they oh, work. Yeah. I love those because they make a little light and a big light. Very cool. They do it all. They do it all. So these are very comfortable beds. And what? a great location actually to work. You have your window, you just work oh, on yeah. your feet, and That's then more right? comfy, yes. And then this is one of the newer ACs, oh, right? Yes, so let's I, talk about that I, I uh, about in that. this so, 2023 model right here. So what's really cool about the Truma is just by looking at it, it's a lot sleeker than the other air conditioners. It does give you a little more headroom in here. So yep. people that are 6'2 and 6'3 as they're walking through, they would always bump their head. And so now this gives you an extra inch or two of, of space. It also gives you an extra inch or two of clearance on top of the RV. So it is a, a lower profile on top and a lower profile inside the RV. So that's just one of the big things. The other things is it is the quietest air conditioner on the market. Very, very quiet. Nice. It has a built-in dehumidifier, which is nice when you're in humid places. It, it has a dehumidifier. It's also the, the most energy efficient air conditioner on the market as well. So the amps that it draws, it has a special night mode. So it does go way down. The fan is just a real quiet, low fan at night. And then you can ramp it up to high as well. So very quiet air conditioner, very nice. This, this is the newest air conditioner in these Class Bs that everybody's gonna be going to here soon. And then you've got the fan, exhaust you fan here. Exhaust fan there. There's also a small fan in the bathroom too. So you got a fan there, okay. fan there. And obviously you got lights everywhere and all that but this rear bath model really gives you a lot of a lot of openness in here a lot of openness i mean there's we got three adults and two dogs in here right now and, and you still have a lot of space lots of space yeah yeah lots and you're space. only what this is 20 foot here 20 foot, 20 20 foot, foot. Inches, it feels yeah. like it's a lot bigger than that it's it pretty crazy yeah. lots of you know the way the pro master is a little wider than than some of the other ones so you have lots of uh Lots of real estate, I guess you would say, inside of here. So lots of space to move around and do things. So this is one of the best, most popular floor plans that Coachman makes is this, this rear bath floor plan. They really, really like it. We sell a ton of them. I mean, just people yeah, come all Special thanks to Nick at Sunshine State RV. He does a great job selling these Class Bs, and he's always been really great with how to have fun outdoors with these walkthroughs, etc. Also, a special thanks to Nick Up, the general manager, Coachman. They do a great job and have been very supportive of the channel. Up next, the Winnebago. That's right, the Travato. This is a super popular model. We have two versions of it. Lunch break. Lunch break, huh? It's lunchtime for me, Rocky, and Gypsy. Wow, that is really spoiling you guys, isn't it? You can see Alice and Gypsy are having a great time, but we're going to go back out to Sunshine State and we're going to take a look at the 59K and the 59GL, and we're going to look at the difference in the front fascia, both 23 models, and we're going to walk through it now with Nick and Alice. Today, we have two of them, a 2023 Winnebago Travato K and a 2023 Winnebago Travato G. Okay. You may say, hey, they look very different, right? So this is the thing. Let's let's show some of the, the front ends and the differences. Yeah. So this is the 23, and this is actually on the 23 chassis. So this is the brand new ProMaster chassis. Has the new front end, the new lights, the new grill, the new the whole new redesigned front end of the ProMaster. So the 22 chassis, they made a lot of interior upgrades. The 23 chassis, they made the interior and exterior upgrades. Okay. So very neat. These are the high performance uh, LED headlights. So so very nice there. Um, also, they redesigned this grill some. Um, give me a nice little swoop right there. You see that, Tommy? That yeah, nice it's real nice. Right there. Yeah, they did an amazing job on this because some people, you know, used to talk about the design and look, well, they've really upgraded yeah. it. Yes. I mean, this is sharp now. It looks, it's a long time coming. I mean, yeah. they've been making that chassis since 2015. Yeah. Oh, like wow. that. They so, needed some upgrade for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but this new one looks gorgeous, it especially does. the white. I mean, well, I am. It's very aggressive. Look. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. super, yeah. super nice. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so then here, 
this is the K model. This is the G. So you see it has the same front end that, that they usually have. This is a 2022 chassis. The way Class Bs do it is the chassis is typically one year and the RV is another year. So, so uh, Winnebago will buy the chassis in 2022 from ProMaster. They'll upfit it, convert it, turn it into a nice, beautiful RV, and then we'll sell it as a 2023. So that's a very common practice yeah. in the RV industry. Um, but this one here is a 23 chassis with a 23 RV. This is a 22 chassis and a 23 RV. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Makes you got sense. it? All so, right. Yep. Let's so do it. The bigger thing is this is a G, yeah. the 59G, and this is the 59K. So the G and the K, I want to hear what, what people think. I mean, I know you like hearing from people, don't you, Thomas? Absolutely. Definitely comment down below because we're going to show you the difference. They're both Travados. Yeah. Both 23s, yep. but you're going to see the different layout. Comment down below what you think, what layout you like best, and why, and tell us what you think of these Winnebago's. This wow, is, look this, at this right this off the bat. This is a 59G right off the bat. What do you notice? Yep. That we have a dining area. You have a dining Set area. Set up like nice, nice, and the best amazing part of it, you can keep it up even when you're driving. Yes, so, you can. You wow. can. So, so right now, both those seats are swiveled. They don't have to be swiveled, but they are. And this dining area, this is a lagoon table. So this thing can move and swivel any which way you want it. What else is really cool is there's room right there for another, another. lagoon table. So you can wow. put another table right there. So that way you can have two different lagoon tables mounted here. So what people use this for. So are you guys familiar with Scott Watson from Go Small, Live Large? Yeah, He's a, yeah. So yeah. he lives full time yeah. in a Travato G. This is what he has. And if you ask him why, he says, cause he likes to work from here he likes to eat here and he likes to sleep back there. Yeah. yeah. So you have your your yeah, exactly. different areas that are in it. So what's unique? Unique. Three point seat belts with anchors for oh no, maybe not. I thought they had anchors for, for child. What's unique? What's unique about this? Well, Three you point can seat, seat belts. There and travel. So two, you have a space for two people. Two people in the back. to sit in a real comfortable seat. Yeah. They have a window, they got charging ports. They have a table, everything they need right there. So let's say you have two kids oh, yeah. and you got two people. You're, you're, you're all set for you're four people here. set for four people. But there is another great reason. What's that? If you have a YouTube channel, you can work from here while your wife is driving. Yeah. Right? <laughs> there you go. Are you the driver in the family? Yes. You're the driver? <laughs> yeah. You're the worker? That's it. <laughs> yes, yes. That's all good. Right. So, you know, something Winnebago does is they give you a smart TV. They give you a Bluetooth soundbar, so people like oh, to have wow. music in their coach. So, so this has music in it. This has uh, the smart TV. You have internet hookups. So, you know something else they do that's really nice is right up here they give you a a, a, a USB port that is connected to the TV. So, if you have an Apple TV, if you have a laptop, whatever you want to do, you have the port here to yeah, do it. You got the HDMI there. That's what we've nice. also done this is a roof access port. So, there's already a hole drilled right here to where we can put antennas on the roof and we can put a 5g wireless internet router wow. in here and we've Very done that nice. quite a bit for people as well so this is nice how they they you know winnebago one thing they do is is they they really think about how are you going to use the rv how what are the different possibilities and different things you're going to do and they and they do a good job of thinking through that so as we walk into the kitchen area um, this is the, actually, this is the GL. So this has the lithium. Okay. So the lithium has a screen for the battery. It has a one press button system. So you press the button, everything turns on. Tons, tons of lithium um, capability. And this, you know, people always say this is bright. So this little thing covers it. Wow. wow. Fancy, huh? We need yeah. one of those. Yeah, we put the stuff on. <laughs> right. right. Well, this is cool because it's yeah. uh, magnets that are built into there. It yeah, just kind of sticks there and it just covers it. Wow, that's super yeah. cool. And then you've got the rest of the control system up here. The rest on of the, the controls, top. the Truma system, the inverter, solar panels, water pump, all that good stuff there. Okay. Um, as as we go a little more in the back, you have your little pantry. You have your large Norcold fridge. Wow, very nice. Wow, so the fridge is nice. These fridges are big and very energy. Um, what do you call it? They don't use a lot of efficient. energy. They're efficient. efficient. That's Very the word. Efficient. Energy efficient. So it helps with the uh, capacity of the lithium battery. This is a regular microwave. Um, and then if you notice in the back, so a couple cool things about this. Right yeah. now, this bed is down. So if you want to get in the bed, you just kind of climb in it 
and you're in it, right? So yeah. it's a, bed, a bed for two, you're back here, but then what's really oh, neat. Oh, you have also a little ladder here, right? If you need help. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, look at that. But what's yeah. really neat is when you're not in the bed, you can fold it up and totally get it out of the way. 100% yeah. remove the bed and it gives you lots of access back here. Yeah, that's so super cool. People really like that. So let's jump off and let's show them how this works. How this works. So the first step is you fold the bed. Second step is you try to do that. Well, let's see here. I just, oh. There we go. There. Like that. There. So let's move this down a little bit. We got to lift this up on the side. Yeah. Very cool. There we go. That pops Perfect. right so up. Now it straps up. Now it's totally out of the way. And you have a full walkway back here. Wow. And Lots now of you've got storage. What do we got for storage down here? So you got a big cabinet there. You got a drawer there. A drawer here. Big drawer yeah. there. Very cool. Another drawer here. You got these little packs there. You can put all kinds of cool all stuff in. in. That's nice. These are all for all your shoes. And then you've yeah, got the little reading up, light yeah, over here. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, light. So when you're in bed, you do have a light. There's chargers, there's little compartments. Oh, well, this comes standard? Or do you guys does. put this? Oh, no kidding. We put those in ours. Yeah. Yeah. Come standard with the Winnebago. Those are nice. They just flip down. You can and put you, your glasses in there and everything else. They put their books in there. They put their iPads, yeah. Kindles, whatever you yeah, use. Yeah, those are but, a big plus. But what I like is how open this is. So you come in and out of the RV, you throw a bike in here. Yeah. You throw exactly. luggage, equipment, material, whatever you're using. You throw it in and out of the RV. And the bed is totally out of the way. You, your your mattress is in there. Your uh, your pillows, your comforters, your blankets, yeah. CPAP yeah. machines, whatever you need. Is Super all cool all put away and this is just wide open right here so yeah and you can check out gadgets in 60 we've actually show you the uh, link for that on amazon so you can check that out nice pretty co cool for almost any class b you can put those in then you have your full-size bathroom wow. with a sink a little mirror a shower i love it they take with a radio like yeah Isn't that, cool? that is yeah. really nice and sharp looking they did a nice look like the little boat action there it's yeah. really nice the way it's laid out yeah I go know. ahead jump in there aliche do the oh, uh sorry oh. Oh. Aye, aye, aye. i was doing it oh wrong. that's a nice look too Isn't that cool? goodbye yeah. everyone Look at that. So very nice very fit and nice. finish there. It's, it's a like nice Superman's, old. Uh, yeah, it looks aluminum. Yeah, look, they put also a little mirror here. Got the mirror. Safety. Very nice. Yep. Go ahead and test that out. See how uh, how much room you got there. Good. Enough to dance. Enough so to dance. Nice. Good. Yeah. Got a little vent action there. That's yep. cool. So you have a little light and a little compartment chain. in the back too. Yeah. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, it's very spacious. It's yeah. nice. <laughs> Very, very, very good. good. Wow, that's nice. And then they also put on the little extra spice rack there, your outlets. You know, something that's... Induction cooktop. Something that's pretty neat, Tommy, is this Eco Hot. So so, what, so what's cool is, instead of having to run your hot water... So I got four kids. So I go tell my kids to take a shower. Right. You know what they do? They turn the hot water on. They just let it sit there for 10 minutes because it's getting hot the whole time. I'm like, guys, it's been hot for eight and a half minutes. Go take a stinking shower, right? Right. They don't care about that. I would do they the don't same care thing. About that. Oh, I'm sure you would. I they usually don't care like turn it on about and then I wait to 20 minutes. Right. And just you <laughs> want to get hot and yeah. see. So what they do here is they have a preheat. So if you want to use it, just put it to preheat, and then wow. it starts preheating the water. So that way, when you when go you to turn it on, you don't waste any water, you don't waste any energy, you don't waste anything. It it just starts preheating it. Yeah. Already. Yeah, wow, so very cool. I need that at my house for my kids. Yes, oh, little and stuff. Then when you do, and I'm gonna do it at our house too. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so you got drawers, you got everything. So as you walk out, um, what's what's really neat about this back here is is the access. Yeah. So so this is what people love. They love being able to get that bed out of the way and have that full access. So I like that. So, I mean, you guys have seen a hundred class BRBs. Have you seen anything like this? No, this is unique. It's, it's a unique, definitely right? a different design for sure. Uh, that was and it's like... kind of like a little toy hauler, right? So, yeah. so the bottom line is, is you can throw in your e-bikes here, scooters like yeah. we, we've got, uh, the e-scooters, all kinds of kayaks you can throw in there. Yep. Just pull them out when you get there, drop your bed down. You're good to go. Yeah. And if you have like a e-bikes with the AR shorter than this you can just put your bed on it and you're good yep. yeah very and so cool people put litter boxes under there so when they're sleeping they have their dogs sleep 
in the bed or underneath. Um, I don't know if you can put a kid under there. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I, wouldn't I haven't experimented with that. So nice hitch no. <laughs> here. Good. I'm not experimenting. Got the towing capacity on there. Yeah. That's cool. They have the water inside the coach. And yeah, they show us what we got course. here. So, yeah, so it's a little the bit. hot and cold water fill. And they do that for winterization to keep all of the water components inside the RV. Mm -hmm. um, you do still need to winterize it, but uh, but they keep it in the coach to kind of keep it out of the elements. You know, their goal is to really give you a, a true four seasons coach that will um, zip up here yeah so so these are neat you know one thing that i really like is not having to store things yeah right storage is such so limited and at a premium in these class b's so what's nice is when things are built in that you can use so so if you want sun you pull it down when you don't want sun you lift it up and it's all built into the rv there so very yeah, cool very really nice. nice not having to store there is a screen back here that rolls down that that if you do want to leave this open and you're here in Florida and the mosquitoes are that big. Yep. As big you as that. your hand, you need that screen. You, you really need, need it. Now what's going on back up there? The uh, saucer. Yeah, that is a, a digital antenna for the TV. So that way ah, you can get digital channels. Very awesome. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. So like I said, the G is a really neat floor plan. Wide open in the back. Front has four seat belts. Both those seats swivel. And, and people really like this 20 foot RV. Now the K, which is the one next to it, yeah. its counterpart okay. is, is equally as nice because Winnebago makes it and Winnebago makes some nice RVs. And then um, just real quickly here, we've oh, got sorry. the outlets. Yes. And outlets uh, are... real nice for when you want to, yeah, you have your little kitchen Same set up. There, cable hookup. Okay. And this is a solar extender there. That's a so solar extender. Solar Very cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, don't forget Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, no. There we go. Let's grab those two. <laughs> we had to come in with us and we change homes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Shimano G, this is the deep cherry red. By the way, what do you think about this color? You like it? Yeah, it's unique. I like I like the white red. highlights on the yeah. panel. It's pretty sharp. It yeah. lightens it up just well, nice. I am personally an AC Milan fan mm -hmm. for soccer, and the red and black is the color. So well, there you I go. Like in my heart. So here in, here, here in Gainesville, we're Florida Gator fans, and red and black are the Georgia Bulldogs. Oh, we do not like the yeah. Georgia Bulldogs. So okay. red right. and black to us. So how do you say dog in Italian, Alice? Cani. Cani. Cani for plural. Cane for singular. Okay, there's so your Italian word of the day. Cani. It's another reason to watch our channel. You learn Italian word, word by dog. word. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Definitely comment down below and also check out our other videos on Class B's. We've got all kinds of great ones. You're going to love this channel. How to have fun outdoors. Subscribe, like, share with your friends, tell everybody about it. And it's not just camper vans. We do cruise videos, travel all over the world from Madagascar to Turkey to Iceland. You're going to want to subscribe. This isn't your normal RV channel. We do it all. And next week we're going to the super RV show in Tampa. We're going to have a lot of great stuff for you there but ladies and gentlemen let's get back to these travados all right so, so now <laughs> we're pro master same size same height same width same length a little different front end uh we'll get into some more of the interior changes that pro master this one but this is the travado k right so very different um you walk in to a wide open area here. You can tell this one's mainly made for two people where, where the G had the access to really be made for four people. So as we walk in. Big opening here. I mean, this up. is one of the widest openings I've seen it on a Class B. It feels really wide, wow. really open. Yeah. And, and what's nice is that everything, I mean, if you look at it, everything is open. Nice big window. It kind of, it's kind of like the Novo rear bath that we did last yeah. time. Yeah. It, it kind of has it that has same, the same feeling. Yes. open feel to it. Um, so, so what's cool is on this one here, let me jump up here and show you. Yeah. Let's take a look at this brand new chassis. So this is the 2023 chassis. This has the new front end. This has the new digital, uh, odometer, speedometer, uh, instrument cluster. It has the new steering wheel, handbrake, uh, shifter knobs. All this is redesigned cell phone charging port right here so you just kind of wow, put it there that's really slick and it, and it, and it charges automatically cup holders down here multiple wow. cup holders keys so you so you put the keys in your pocket push button start right here um usb and usc ports and what people really like is the 10 inch navigation screen so this is an apple carplay android carplay 10 inch navigation you can, you can download different apps on here if you wanted alexa and you know different um different ones 
and then and then you have navigation built in or you can have it through the carplay satellite radio all that um this is also pretty neat in the pro master this is a digital rear view mirror yeah if you don't like it you just have a normal rear view mirror but the digital gives you you know you can you can uh change it and you can see different different ver you know in the back you can move it down so you can see move it up so really really cool thing there um, and what's crazy about this is we have a Grand Wagoneer, brand new one. Oh, yeah? They're $110,000. Uh -huh. These are the same exact app feature interface, yeah. digital. Uh, it's it's all the same stuff. So oh, it's Pro pretty Master. pretty awesome that yeah. these guys have put this into the ProMaster. And, and you've got a full digital display up there also, yes. right? Yes. I mean, that's... That's, That's impressive nice. for that is uh, nice. a van. You know, back back probably ten years ago, Tommy, RV RVs were just made in cargo vans. Yeah. And cargo vans were always crappy. Right. Yeah. So they're uncomfortable, clunky, no real power windows, no power locks, no none right. of these creature comforts that your Wagoneer or your Mercedes or your nice high end car would have. Right. And so people will go from their nice high end luxury comfortable car to their very uncomfortable crappy cargo van that had a nice RV in it. Now they're upgrading all all of these vans to make them just as comfortable as your car. A Mercedes, Ford Transit, ProMaster. I mean, ProMaster has a nine-speed transmission now. Wow. Oh, it's so comfortable. Oh, I mean, like, the steering has blind spot assist, crosswind detection, all kinds of great safety features on these on these Class Bs. Yeah, now. it's great to uh, see American companies investing in this and really upgrading it. They've done a great yes. job. Yeah. Look at there. There goes uh -oh. that Sunshine State so, RV. Take a look at that. That's, that's how we pick up RVs. See, we you timed know, that perfectly. We told them to drive that by halfway you know, Tommy, through the video. I, something unique about us is we don't drive any of our RVs here from the manufacturers. We have our trucks go pick them up and ship them. So every RV we sell has 20 miles on it, 30 miles, like brand spanking. That not is fantastic. Thousands of miles He's like most, most other yeah. dealerships. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's neat. super cool. So as we walk in the back of the K, yep. do you remember we were just in the G? Yeah. Do you remember what the G looked like and oh, felt yeah, like? Very yep. much. Now we're in a K and it has a totally different feel, totally, totally different, different openness. And both, both Travados, right? So, I mean, they're both, both, both Travados with Travados. two different floor plans that are so unique. Yes, yeah. I, I will say the K is is their top seller. So they sell more of these. Okay. Um, this this appeals to a a crowd usually that has two. Let me let me squeeze by here. Yeah. Two people that RV and two people that use it. Um, so it is wide open. Excuse me. Which one's Rocky? And which one's Bullwinkle? Uh, Rocky. He's Ro in there, Rocky's yeah. a little one. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's not really bullying, <laughs> yeah. It's gypsy. No. It's gypsy. It's gypsy because she travels with the man. So she's a gypsy. Oh, she's, she's a gypsy. Yeah, she travels with the man. Let's see if I can tell by looking at them. There yeah, you go. You this one? No. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah 50% chance. All right. How much he's, older? Almost, he's almost 12 years old in wow. February. And uh, the 18th of January, she turned two years old. Oh, my goodness. I was way off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I know, but she's the way bigger because uh, she's a silky terrier. This is where the dog lovers are. This is where the dog lovers are commenting down below. I love Yorkies, yeah. and then the other people are like, "Get on with the van yeah, tour." Right, so, right, right. <laughs> but look at this kitchen. Let's look at this. Yeah, so, I mean, that's so, a big, deep kitchen there. Big, deep, wide open. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who, you know, wow. So there's, so there's two different types of people, Tommy. There's people that are never ever gonna gonna crack open that stove in an RV. Yeah. They're never gonna cook anything ever, no matter I can what. Cook any time. Then there's other people that love cooking in their RV and they would rather cook and they like the challenge of cooking in the RV. So the person that likes that loves a convection microwave. There you they go. They love Lee another the convection. They love the white you know what else they love? They yeah. love having the window oh, right yeah. here. Yeah. And they love being able to pop this open and have some fresh air and And pasta food. And pasta food if you wanted. Yeah. Or they just have the fresh air. So when you're cooking Yeah. When you're cooking, that is nice. The stuff is going and that's out. That's what you grew cold. up with, right? That was yeah. how your motor home was. And that's, you know, one of the other videos we yeah. did yeah. Uh, had that same setup. So What's, that's a really nice yeah. feature. The easy kitchen is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, what I love, I, I agree with you, how spacious, way more spacious it is. The fact that you have a two burners and not only one makes a big difference. Yeah. 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 And, and what people really like is, is having the space yeah. to do it. Um, and there is another way. There's a way to have an extra countertop right here. I just got to swivel this around and I can show you how that looks, which is wow. really neat. But then when you're cooking and doing things, you have the window, you have the, 
You have the big sink that you can fit things in. You know, I always use this as kind of my prop. So you can fit a plate in this big, you can wash it, a pan that's this big, you can maneuver it around. You can do all different types of stuff in this sink because yeah. this this faucet is up high. So people really like the uh, the access yeah. of, of doing that. And, and you still have the space here, you know, you to actually put the stuff and you just, do? yeah. Yeah, really nice. And then you so, got more drawers down here drawers. for all your plates and different. Oh, Look at nice. that. This one is cool too. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, nice yeah, they really take good. every space possible. They take advantage of everything, don't yeah. they? Yeah, oh, that's very goodness. cool. They do. Check this out. This is a little hidden gem. Whoa, look at that, huh? That's pretty the, cool. Instapot or the air fryer mm. or whatever. That's it is. a nice feature. There's, there's also one behind you. We should own. have you put oh, one of those in ours. Look at that. Tommy. Here. And that's the, and that's more for when you're sitting there as a desk. And it's around the front side. Wow. Well, you Look can also put that. that thing outside. That is nice. Yeah, that's a really cool feature for sure. And so, these seats are nice too. They've done a nice job with that. I mean, they feel the great. leather. This is the uh, cat skin leather. So check that out. Wow. Oh, so yeah. now you have wow, a little look extra. At this. I'm the queen of the kitchen. You are the queen of I'm the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. yeah. The kitchen queen. Or I can set up a little table here. Eat. Yeah. Do you like Very nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pasta, rigatoni, yeah. manicotti. A good risotto. What exactly. do you think about it? So this here, you can move that that uh, lagoon table. We put it right here, and you can have a wide open, wide area right here for using the RV. So, a couple different scenarios. People always ask me, man, well, who's going to use it? What do they use it for? So, two people sleeping back there, right? Me yep. and my wife go to bed. I wake up at least an hour earlier than my wife. So I would get up if I was in this RV. I'd make my coffee. I'd sit right here. I'd read the paper, read my book. Outside. I, watch how to have fun outdoors. Watch, on watch YouTube. how to have fun outdoors on YouTube. <laughs> and and I would let her sleep, and I would still hang out if I couldn't go outside for whatever reason. Obviously, your first choice when you're in a little RV is to be outside. Exactly. It's having fun outdoors. But your second choice is hanging out in this separate area with all separate stuff so i'm not interrupting i'm not waking yeah. her up yeah letting her sleep and coming up here so nice nice division i think i, I, I agree think with you a nice nice yeah. divide between the two you need the different areas i i agree with you 100 so what do we got for ac we got a nice fan so, here so the the g model that we just looked at is yeah. is the lithium model okay um and they make it the gl is g with lithium or okay. the g is just the g with the generator this is a k Mm -hmm. And they also make a KL L. with lithium. Okay. So this does not have lithium. This has the the ultra quiet, the same generator you guys have, okay. the quiet Onan generator. Which um, is an excellent generator, oh, by the way. Uh, it's we, an excellent we generator. We didn't have any issue whatsoever. Yeah. It's quiet wherever you are. If you just turn it on, nobody can really complain. And we about even it. met with the manufacturer on that, and they them themselves said that was a clean sheet design, start to finish, and yeah. they feel it's the best you know generator 100%. they manufacture 100%. so it is it's a great I generator i agree i always tell a story yeah the first time we got one of the real quiet ones in my technician started up and they thought there was an issue that it wasn't putting out power because it was so quiet it sounded <laughs> like it was barely running and so they ended up it. testing everything They're like how's this thing and i thought oh that's one of the new quiet generators right right and so and so they were just shocked at how quiet it was yeah without put without with still putting out the same power just being that quiet yeah so really cool the so the power in this is an AGM battery and the Onan generator. There okay. are solar panels on the roof. There is a Coleman mock air conditioner. Aliche, show them where they can get that video. Over right, here. right over here. Oh, oh right there. Here. Now it's over there. It's so over here. we're. Oh, we can make it over. Oh, here. make it over there. Here we go. <laughs> we're put it anywhere. But in any case, uh, we're upgrading our AGM to lithium and keeping the generator, so it's the best of both worlds. So you could do the Tommy, same. I agree, hundred percent with you. That is the best of both worlds to have both a lithium system and a generator so you have redundancy backup everything and, and uh, if you want to upgrade your rv contact nick right right there <laughs> sunshine state yes, so let's you. keep going so still we have the same water system here same so eco hot so if you want to eco hot it, super it cool i like it, that feature let it run and then just pop it on hot and you just get a little cup and then turn it right off and it conserves water conserves energy conserves everything um this is a lagoon table there are lots of different things. Come here, you want to get on the table? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you can go everywhere. Yeah, Rocky. 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 Yeah, Rocky.
No. no. Oh, Rock's no, doing good. No. Over 12 oh. years old. He's doing good. Yeah, he got excited. Got a little sound bar, TV, so, table. So, smart TV, sound bar. Same thing as the other coach. You have you have your HDMI cables. You can plug anything you want. You have a roof access port here, so you can put a 5G internet router in here. You got plugs, USB ports, everything you can imagine all right here. And I like how they keep it all together. Yeah, you yeah know, that's where nice. You know where everything is. Um, something that at Sunshine State RVs, what, when I order every one of our RVs, I order these these windows. So these are awning style. I know we showed yeah. it in the kitchen over there. These are awning style windows. If you don't order these, you get a normal sliding window, um, which I think this is far superior. It's far, far. superior also because you get way more hair. Way more and hair. And one of the air, you, air, 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 air. Oh, come on. <laughs> How do you say air in Italian? Aria. Aria. Okay, Aria. there you go. A I R E. A R I E. Oh, nice. oh, there you go. So two if, Italian words on this yeah. video. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big deal. Yeah. So if so if you don't get it, you end up getting a sliding window like this. So this has to be sliding, yeah. so that way the door doesn't hit it. Um, I think this this is yeah. so much better. Yeah, yeah you get so much more air, so, so much more light. Yeah, a lot more ventilation our, with this. Yeah, this, uh, in our uh, camper van when I was uh, growing up, we had the four of these big ones. Yeah, and we kept them open on the side. Uh, you were always there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice. yeah. Going through one side to the next, and it was so fresh. It was yeah. almost going being out, outdoors. Yeah, yeah that's, no, I mean, that's with this a big open, plus. you can even feel a big difference. You know, if I stand right here with this open, I can definitely feel the air flowing through the coach. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you turn the heater on. Yeah, look at this. Look at oh, oh. No, she's fine, but he's you know they. Every time everybody teases us. Nice. Everybody teases us for living in New Hampshire and how cold it is. We come down to Florida. This is the second year in a row. Yeah, we come cheap. down here. It was forty one degrees last night. We had the heater blaring in our beyond. So yeah. 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 So oh, back up a little bit, Tommy. Yeah. I want to show you something pretty oh. neat here. So this is the side that does it. Okay. Um, so this here slides out very easy it hooks in boom and then this goes up there so then look at the size of this then wow. after you do that this goes there wow now we can that. play how cool is that right wow look at that and Alice. you can keep this one here so in the morning you get your coffee from the bed there you go yeah. So that is huge that, I mean, how long did that take for two seconds three seconds right it's nothing so then when you're done I'm kind of right jealous. Up. That's nice. Pick and that then right you up. still have Hand that pass one. through for kayaks and bikes. And there we go. Let's put that one over. Wow. Oh, that one over here. Super cool. And we do like and this. And do this. And now we're done. Woohoo! Wide open. So, Look at that. Real nice because you do have the pass through. Yep. You have the capability of having a big bed and you have the capability of having twin beds. And so that's what I said. This, this RV is made for two people. I mean, this, that's what's going to be comfortable in this RV. There's yeah. two seats up front. There's there's a uh, sleeping for two back here, really nice. There is a little bit of storage under the bed you're sitting on. Uh, we can show that. Um, there's some storage up here. There's storage here, storage yep. here. And they have big cabinets, so big cabinets. very spacious. And they have the white cabinets like you like. Yeah, it's a nice design for sure. There we go. Yeah, so I like the white with easy the dark. To clean. Yeah, I think it kind of brightens. It kind of brightens it up. Um, as you walk through here. Open this up. There we go. Let's do it. Wow, look there. at all the room. There. And now. And now you've got the rear bath. This is the bath. rear bathroom model. So just like in the Nova, the yeah. rear bath gives you more space in a bathroom than a side bath. Yeah. So that's why bigger guys like me, Tommy, yep. like the rear bath. You like the rear bath. <laughs> So, nice big drawer That's here. That's a huge drawer. You got a nice big cabinet there. These yeah. are some of the supplies that come with the RV. Very cool. There is a, does Winnebago I'm throw those in, or they do? They, they do. do. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. nice. There is a, a vent back here, so you have a separate vent. Okay. So that way, if you're back here, you need a little fresh air, taking a shower, it kind of cycles through. You have a, van, a vanity with some storage up here. Very nice. Wow, lots of space. This is a great layout. You have a sink with Look a nice big that. shower head. They've upgraded this recently because this used to just be a little chintzy. Yeah, yeah. A little chintzy one, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's almost like a kitchen one. It's nice. And then, nice, nice here. That's sweet. And then, Alicia, you have your yeah, floor mat. Oh, you like. Custom cut in. Yeah. And then nice, big, wide open. So the same, the same window coverings here. So that way you have 
The window covering's built in when you're when you're back here using the bathroom or taking a shower. You have privacy when you're not. You have. And if you're taking a shower and you want to dance, you have space to dance. <laughs> there you go. You can dance, sing, do sing all of that. In the rain. Sing. <laughs> and then what do we got here? What are these? So those are for. Let's see here. Let me pull these off. And have a little experiment. Oh, look at that. So this goes. Oh, pretty fancy dancy. I think I got what is it. This is very cool. Outside the shower. Uh, like that. So that there. So then hold that, Tommy. Yep, I got it. And this goes there. So if you don't, if you want to shower outside, it comes with a curtain. And this, like this. And you can, and you can have the shower outside with the, so there's an outside shower connection there. Wow. And this kind of gives you privacy here and you can shower out here. If You know what I mean? Sometimes you're in places where you have complete privacy. Yeah. You're in the middle of nowhere when yeah. you're, but yeah, you still have a little curtain maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But this gives you a curtain. The other cool thing this gives you is you can hang your towels on it. Yeah. If you want to keep your doors open for a little bit, if you're out, out outdoors hanging out and you just got done hiking, or swimming, you want to throw your bathing suit over this. This is a nice uh, rack for that as well. So, I yeah, it. I like it. I think it's in good, spacious back bath here. Great design. Love how that turns into a giant bed if Isn't you want cool? to. And then if you're fighting with the wife, you just see, stay in the twins on each side. We never fight, Tommy T. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, once again, same setup there. Same That's setup. cool. So, we got the water inside the coach. Yeah. And, and they do this. For winterization reasons, yeah. to 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 kind of keep everything in the coach, so that way you're not having a lot of water connections outside the coach, so you're not you're not freezing those connections up. They really try to make it a four seasons coach, um, and so you know Winnebago's done a great job perfecting this wow. this K four plan. You know, at one point this was the top selling Class B RV on the market. Wow, wow. Winnebago Travato K. And I'm not sure if it is today, but I know at one point this was the top selling floor plan and model of RV. It makes sense. It's a really nice yeah. design. And then just to finish off this video, we've been able to compare both floor pans, the, the new chassis. Um, and then how about the oh, how about the tanks yeah. situation? The tanks? Yeah, we've got uh, black tank, gray tank. Uh, yeah, so they have black tanks, they have gray tanks, they have fresh tanks. We can put all that information down below. Yeah. The tank sizes and all that. So yeah. That way people can see. We'll do that, and you got the propane on there also, so very cool. Will your dogs jump hey. out the window? No, <laughs> they're good. Oh, take <laughs> a look at that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we've done it. We've so, covered both of these, right? K, so, yeah. G, let us know what club you're in. Yeah. Yes. Are you in the K? You like that? Or the G? But up next, that's right, Road Track SS Agile. These guys have been making Class Bs a long time. Right. And you got to feel good about this brand. Isn't this the brand that yeah. you started with, right? Yep. From the yep. very yep. beginning. 2014, Road Track was, was the original brand that kind of got us into the new, the new Class B market. So, yeah, it's pretty wow. amazing. Pretty that's amazing. Great. Yeah, jump on in there. Check yeah, it out. let's take a look. Let's go. Let's go. I like the colors right out of the bat. So, yeah, it's that's pretty. Cherry, cherry wood. This yeah. is a sterling pearl floor, they call it. Yeah. And. Behind the driver's seat, they're they're pretty conscientious about not putting any cabinets on that side of the coach. So, okay. so it's, okay. it's very wide, and open, very yeah. wide and open right yeah. there. I'm going to get these lights on for you. All right, let's pop those lights on. Super cool design, though. This is definitely different. Nice Mercedes chassis. Let there be light. Yep, these... Power door, power seats, big Mercedes. And the seats rotate around, they I do. assume. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Pretty neat. So when the seats rotate, this is the this is the table right here. Oh, Isn't that cool? Nice. That is great. That's a smart idea. Yeah. Very cool. Convection design. microwave, like you guys yeah. were just talking about. So that oh, is a convection. That is a convection, yeah. What? Wow, Alicia, you could do pizza, lasagna. I'm ready. Let's do it. Look at that. I use huh? the oven at home every time. Yes. Every day. Oh, wow. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty neat how it's wide open, isn't nice it? Nice and clean look to it too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this and is sharp. I mean, you don't feel that it's so small because you have everything you need. It is the right, the perfect size. Yeah, and they've got the cabinets off the back. And they are very spacious, I like that. Got your TV there. So I like this cherry wood. I think this is a good look as well. I really like the white countertop. It's mm -hmm. bright. So when you walk in, it's one of the first things you wow. see. 
Road Trek was the first company that started lithium in the Class Bs. It was. They, they were the very first to do the lithium. They make a great lithium product right now. Um, they actually make it themselves. So they they assemble it, put it together. It is their their lithium system, so it's pretty neat. Um, Road Trek's a great band. They're, they're all made in Canada. Okay. So they are a, that's right. Oh, Got the USBs. Oh, Look at the nice magazine it. racks in there. Very small. Yeah. Look at the bathroom. Wow. That's all you need. I mean, that gets the job done. Yeah. You got the curtain on there. It comes out outside the door frame. So yep. got the extra room. Nice cabinets here. Wow. Those are pillows and different things. But yeah, yep. you can hang stuff there. So yeah, Road Trek's done a great job. We're real impressed with it. People love them. I mean, we, we represented them in the Tampa show a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And we sold a ton of them. People just, I mean, all of, came from all over the country just to see the new Road Treks. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, he's, I tell you, I like this little Class B. It's pretty sharp, yeah. actually. Great job by Aliche and Nick, and Road Trek really makes a great product. They've been in this industry so long, they know all about camper vans. Up next, we're going to show you some high-end Gretsch RV. That's right, we've got the Strata Ion on the Mercedes-Benz uh, chassis. It is a gorgeous unit. We're going to try to throw one of those in. And then we're going to do a Fleetwood IROC, so you can see what they bring to the table. These guys also do a really, really nice job with the camper van if you're looking for a higher-end model. So we've got a couple high-end models here. Hope you enjoy it. And Liche is going to take it over from the gentleman from Gretsch RV. And I think you're going to love this 2023 RV Strata Ion. All right, folks, you're not going to believe it. The MSRP is $244,900, but this is the flagship Sprinter Motorhome, and it is one, no question about it, absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and get started with the Liche, the Queen of Class B, and the representatives from Gretsch. All right, we're here at the Super RV Show, and today we got a special, folks. We got the big dog right here, Jeff from Gretsch, all the way from Riverside, California, and we've got this guy right here, Ned, and they're hanging out with the queen of class b's alice who comes all the way from italy and if you don't know she grew up driving around rvs all over europe and when she came here she said i have to have a class b and then we got stuck on this youtube page and we do a little bit of everything travel all over the world cruises fishing hiking you name it we've got it you're definitely going to want to check it out jeff and we've already done one of your oh, yeah. videos we did the terreno just a few weeks ago you can check the video here guys. yeah we did the train i loved it Fantastic really impressed unit. with the quality yep. and everything else so today what do we got ned what are we showing everyone back home this is the Strata Ion, which is built on the extended series chassis. So unlike the Torino, you get set, uh, 15 inches of additional storage behind the rear uh, compartment on this vehicle. So come on in, let's show you around. Yeah, let's take Absolutely. a look at it. And look at, Gypsy's already in there, so she's having fun. Oh, yeah, but nice, dollars. big, wide opening, big, dollars. fancy uh, yeah, step. power step. Uh, this particular floor plan is our tour floor plan, which allows for the driver and co-pilot you gain a full wardrobe closet with this particular model. So it's oh, wow. awesome space. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna compare two of these floor plans for you today. So big, big opportunity if you're interested in this extended Mercedes chassis with the Gretsch, you're gonna get to see both floor plans. And right off the bat, the big difference is right here in the closet. All right, so let's take a look at this. We've right. got a uh, big old fridge. Big old fridge, beverage a compartment down beneath yeah this is a one piece solid fiberglass wet bath wow with a window unlike anything you've seen in the uh, rv industry this is the only window that doesn't have a power shade it is manual but everything else is uh electrically controlled very nice yeah and big sink for a class b also yep lots of room in here aliche take a look come and do the room check on it for us Yes. You're a pro at this compared to the other Class Bs. Woo, pretty good. Look at pretty that. Pretty good. Sit down around. on there. Mm -hmm. Sit in there. See how we're doing. doing Looks good. pretty good. All yeah. right. Works really well. Closes oh, up. A okay. Nice mirror also. Another oh. mirror. You got to like that. Very good. All right. Let's take a look All at right. the galley here, the kitchen. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Quartz countertops with 
a nice deep stainless farmhouse style wow. sink. That thing is huge. I love that part of the crash. Like yeah. they have a fantastic cooking. Yep, all of our um, cabinetry is uh, solid hardwood with European veneers. You a lot can tell. Of, yeah. lot of storage, and uh, it's really accented by with our ambient ambient. What am I trying to say? Ambient LED lighting. Yeah. Which is gorgeous. And you've got the induction stove top. Hey, yeah, and you have two burners. And you've got the convection with the microwave, so that's a big plus. So if yeah. you want to do your baking, you can do it wow. in these Gretches. And take a look at all the storage you've got here in the galley. And underneath also here. So this is where you're picking and up all that extra room. Extra space. Yeah, a lot of extra space. And then, wow, take a look at this big lounge area. Wow, you have also down here. Yeah. And there's seat belts in both of these, as well as three across the rear here. So you can sit five DOT yeah. with seat belts. Seven, including the driver and passenger. Wow, wow. that's impressive. Yes. And then take a look at how much storage these guys are putting into here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these up top. I don't think we've seen that in any other Class B, correct? And, and look how far back they go. Very deep. I can't, wow. I can't even reach back as far as it goes. I think about that this is, is the difference that you have with the Torino that we did. Yeah. yeah, the difference with the Torino is this space right here between the headrest yeah. and the back. So you gain 15 inches of storage back there, which yes. is really nice added real And these one, you can tell how patient it is. Yeah, there's a lot this. more room there. Definitely got the outlets, the USBs, you got the C there, that's really nice. Drink holders. Yep. TV with, home. yeah, look at there. Nice TV oh, wow. with the sound box. You got the whole and your control system. Exactly. So we have the Firefly control system and then Timberline for our uh, heat and hot water. Beautiful system. And with our batteries, uh, we can run that full air conditioning and all power for about 12 hours. Um, That's and, awesome. Yeah. And if you want to charge, all you have to do is just start the ignition and it'll charge from uh, from idle, which is unusual as well. Wow, that's that is a big plus. Yeah. So what is the battery system you've got in here then? This is lithium in here? Yeah, it's called Lithionics, a beautiful company out of uh, Clearwater Beach, Florida. Okay. All the best technology for uh, smart battery systems. Awesome. You know how many amp hours by chance? Um, that's got to be loaded. Yeah, 1260 amp hours. Wow. Which is about 35% higher than our closest competitor. Yeah, that's that's, that's a giant plus, right? Mm -hmm. To have that type of amp hours built in already out of the factory. Yeah. That's a big, big yeah. plus. I want to show you the retractable. Uh, All right, Aliche, stop on back. And we're going to take a look and but we're going to put this bed down. These seats are super comfortable. All right, sure. let me take a look at this, folks. He's going to retract this. And this is all power. Even the side ottomans here, the side chairs. Look at that, folks. Pretty fancy. You've seen this before. But look at all that extra room. Yeah, very comfortable. Real oh, nice. <laughs> there he Hi, is. <laughs> Very cool. Are you ready to go to bed? So We're if you're... Lie down and, yeah, we have a, we've added an extra two inches of memory foam on here. We've been told that this uh, bed is the most comfortable Class B bed um, in the marketplace right now. Wow. wow. So you just feed these down. All right, Alicia, give it a try. You you do this on the cruise ships. You do this everywhere. Oh, I can sleep anywhere. Oh, oh. That is comfy. Uh huh? Oh, uh, yes. Good that, night. Good night. Look at that. So... If you're a big person over six foot, we were looking at those Vegases. Definitely check out that video. That's uh, everyone <laughs> saying that that's an alternative if you're a big person to a Class B. But this one right here, this one uh, can handle somebody uh, much taller, yeah. and uh, there's a lot of room there. So that's Whoa, pretty cool. Obviously, positive. these come down, and this turns into a huge bed. So yeah, we're the just shy of a few. Lights here yeah. that you have right when you are in bed and also on the side. But the other great advantage of this, that I can tell, you have USB, USB C, two plugs on both sides. And finally, think about that you have already some storage down here for your stuff. Yeah, and all Everything. power retractable. Look at that. That yeah. is. 
That is high end for sure for a class B. That's Thank really you, nice. You no Ned, you rocked. <laughs> <laughs> and then up here we've got uh, we got the Mercedes uh, chassis, right? So absolutely. And this is all 2023, beautiful. And obviously you've got all the perks uh, of this system. We've talked about it a lot on the channel. Anything you want to highlight from there, Ned? Uh, there, it, it has all the safety features that you're used to with your luxury vehicles as far as lane keep assist, uh, blind zone alerts, all the things of that nature. And uh, so it's it's definitely not like driving a utility vehicle, that's for sure. Yeah. Very plush. Well, let's look at the outside and then we'll switch over to the other floor plan of the same model. And... Uh, but one of the things that stands out about Gretsch in my mind is the beautiful fit and finish here. I mean, this is this is high end looking, uh, you know, absolutely beautiful, and all the storage is locked out, really nice. If you're familiar with the traditional uh, Mercedes Sprinters, one of their shortcomings was a lot of times there was waviness in this trim, and um, Mr. Gretsch had no tolerance for uh, anything but perfection, so he's put in this beautiful trim molding that really accents it. Um, the utility center is all hidden underneath, which I could show you behind this. Yeah. Tucked behind this, so your uh, wow, you got power, a little... water. Yeah, everything's right there. And it's all stainless steel as well. Um, I'm from upstate New York, so we have the salt and the sand on the roads, and uh, there's nothing worse than rusting. So this is all stainless steel as well as the screw heads, and underneath all of our added on mechanical structure it's all fire it's all yeah. stainless steel as well yeah this one is four wheel drive as well yeah and you got oh. three other ones nice dualies there Liche on the back and uh what a gorgeous unit yeah you'll see our trailer hitch and everything is also hidden with this beautiful body motor. oh okay the trailer hitch is all behind here yes very nice until five thousand pounds All right, so Aliche, we got a bonus here for everyone back home. We're oh, going to compare yeah. two different floor plans. We've got the tour and the lounge, and we've got the light and the dark. So what do we got here? Which one is this? All right, this is the lounge, and you can see we've got an extra set of uh, luxury captain's chairs here. All four can face each other and drop in a table. Wow. And unlike the last vehicle we were just in, this is our dark interior. All hardwood with European veneer. One thing that you sacrifice with this particular model is the full closet. Right. Yeah. But you're picking up the two nice captain chairs. So if there's like, you know, you and I with your parents or my parents, you could throw them in there and cruise around the country and hang out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You have nine total seat belts. Nine seat belts in this yeah, one. Because you wow. The other ones. So yeah, you could take this to the concert too as a daily driver <laughs> and pile in nine people for sure. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. So then these rotate also, right? So you get the table, so you got all four oh. with a nice table in the middle. Yep. And then this is different. Yep, you gain a nice TV up here for the rear passengers. And they have headphones that they can listen to that with. So one question, I don't know if you know this, but we did get asked this after we did the other one, is, you know, can you get this on the other model or no, as a custom? Uh, no, we do very few variations from our standard builds. It's uh, okay. each package is built the way it is. Okay, very cool. But the yep. TV up front here, mm -hmm. that's a big plus. Yep. Big opening. And then when you come back, this is almost identical. The oh, fridge. You sacrifice it, some space for yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, you lose right. you lose the space yeah. on the kitchen. You still got your convection. And you your have fridge, a smaller refrigerator. Smaller you refrigerator. See, you only have this better. Yeah. No, sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you still got this big yeah, sink for yep. sure. That thing's a monster. So that's a big plus. Double induction with the lithium, which is really great. Mm -hmm. And this car is still the same. Yeah, that that is a big plus. Look at how much space you have. Yeah, you, you can got, appreciate if you come here, Tom. Yeah, I mean, there is so much extra no, space no, here. Yeah, Look no. at that. Yeah. Wow, and you could build shelving in there, do a lot of cool stuff if you wanted. But really great fit and finish on these Gretches. I mean, you guys have done, just taken it up a level as far as the quality, the look. You know, the feel of it is just, and look at the size of these compared to 
what we're typically seeing. These are big. Those are big seats. Yeah, it's super comfortable. I guess after building in the luxury commercial industry for 40 years, it only made sense for Mr. Gretsch to segue into the RV market, and uh, he only does things the best way possible. Wow. And then you've got a second TV right there. Another Firefly flat screen right there. Absolutely. And so, all your LED lights. Pretty sweet. If we need privacy. <laughs> this is and a little way. privacy. Look at that, Aliche. You know how many times I have to go up and down? Turning <laughs> 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 oh, this is pretty awesome. So and this lot, is... A lot of the fit and finish is very much like the, um, you know, private airplane type of... Uh, look yeah it's nice and clean for mm -hmm. sure real clean look to it yeah and this carries the same amount of lithium so i mean this really really is a great class b option and definitely upscale for sure yep. so these things are around two hundred thousand, right i mean um, the, that's closer to 230 yeah. 230 mm -hmm. right in there mm -hmm. and uh but this is probably the top of the market i would say you know you've got some airstreams but these are nice with that amount of lithium with you know that that's pretty impressive overall yeah our our closest competitor would be the airstream and um we're actually significantly less uh if you build them out to be comparable as far as options go and one of our strong suits right now is availability um about 60 days is about the longest you'd wait for an order wow and, very yeah, good so we have them in stock or very easily ordered and um, price is, is still a strong point, even though everything is top shelf. You know, we've positioned ourselves to, to have a little bit of a price advantage. Wow. Okay. So for all of those back home that don't know the scale, we have uh, five Discovery Bus. Discovery Bus is the name of our Class B. So we always end these videos with Aliche giving what she thinks the rating should be. And uh, uh, how would you rate this one, Aliche? If I could go to six, I would do six, but we have five, so you are a five discovery buses. All right, five for five. So five star Class B right here. Ned did an awesome job. Thank you so much, really. Great job by Aliche and another awesome 2023 model. But we've got another one for you that you rarely see. That's right. It's from Fleetwood. These guys do an amazing job, high quality. And this is a 2023 RV iRock camper van. Pretty, pretty unique look on it. So like, yeah. like Alicia said, the black wheels, it does have this really cool black um, matte uh, stripe on it, which yeah. is, goes all the way up. The iRock is there. So this is kind of their signature look. The black wheels, the black stripe. Yeah. Um, you know, what's really nice on this side. more adventure have look. Yeah. Power awning. Yeah. Power awning has the LED lights on it which are okay. nice you know back probably 10 to 12 years ago when me and my wife used to take our little kids camping a lot yeah. my wife would always pack a, a bag of old ghetto yeah. christmas lights <laughs> with the icicles <laughs> that hang from them so she'd go get the lights plug them in and have the icicle christmas lights yeah. hanging from rv kind of remind me of the national lampoons and uh, <laughs> yeah. chevy well, chases it was already. always christmas when you travel with me yeah always, <laughs> always christmas saint nick yeah. uh, so it's cool power awning led lights and then what's really neat, you know, a lot of plays, a lot of Class Bs don't do this. They have, a lot of them do the 110 plugs here. Yep. But then when you get over here, you have an HDMI port and a cable port. Yeah, that's so nice. That, that's, that's pretty unique. That's not something a lot of the other companies are doing. So if you want to have a table here, you can plug in your TV. You can plug in the HDMI port, watch something from inside, kind of join it. Yeah. The antenna that's on there. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You know what I like to do? Yeah personally when i'm out here i have a table and i put like a little griddle on it and i cook eggs and bacon i like to do it outside the rv so it doesn't oh, yeah. smell up a lot of the stuff so i bring everything out and i do a lot of the cooking under the awning with the speaker on and all that these guys know how to have fun outdoors all right very cool and then come around the back got yeah. the hitch so so you know it's it's cool you know brand yeah, nice big, big logo yeah um the new the new chassis has has the parking sensors all the way around so as you're backing up they do beep it also has the the 360 camera so uh, so if you look up there yeah. it has two cameras so it has the the one on the top right yeah. and the one on the bottom there 
So that's going to give you a 360 view okay. from that nice big 10 inch navigation screen. So, so very cool how, how it has that. Um, you know, something else, if you notice, it's a real small detail, this little button right here. So this is when, when the keys are in your pocket, you press that button and it unlocks the door. Awesome. So that way you're not having to find no, it. No need to find it, but mostly my purse. Yes. I right. find my wife's my purse, purse is this one. Have you seen Mary Poppins? Oh, yeah. So I was just in London last week with, with my wife and kids. And I said, guys, I'm going to bring you to watch a, a show, right? Like, like a Broadway type show in London. And so the only one I could find that everybody would agree on was Mary Poppins. I love Mary Poppins. Oh, it's great. I love it was Mary great. Poppins. So, so we were we were in London. We're watching Mary Poppins. And she has that big purse, and I joked with my wife, I'm like, "That's what your purse is like." We pull out the, the umbrella. But look, and this we always and all have that. everything, right? Yeah, everything. It's just a matter of finding. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We, but if you can't it's find good. it, do you really have it? I mean, I, you know. I don't know. <laughs> yes. All right, there you I have really it. Really, no. So. The, keep the keep the key in the purse. Press the button right there. You're good to go. Nice big plus for sure. So as as we walk around here, it is it is an RV. So this is where you have your 30 amp plug. So I like where you put it in and you screw it in. Yeah. To where it's not just kind of dangling there. You do put it in and screw it to Pretty make sure you have a nice fancy dancy cover on there too. Nice, That's, That's cool. A really nice one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then and then here's where you where you have your city water connection, fresh, fresh water. water tank, so you can fill there. Very um, cool. You do have a shower here with hot and cold water. Mm -hmm. So when Rocky and Bullwinkle need their feet, Rocky yeah. and Jitsi. Oh, yeah, Bullwinkle is good. Rocky and Bullwinkle, <laughs> when they need their feet cleaned off, you take out the the shower hose. And we can them spoil them with hot water. Exactly. Hot now, water. what do we got down so here? This is this, the... this down here is part of the uh, dump. Oh, okay. So you got black, and you got gray, gray right and there. then you have gravity fed right oh, there. That's nice. I yeah. like that. I like how covered it's kind up. of incognito, yeah. covered up. Yeah. yeah. It's not too low, but it's down there. There again, there's that magic button that, oh, I, yeah. that, that I mentioned earlier. So very neat there. You know, something cool, Tommy, that they did um, on these new chassis is they really outfitted the front of it very well. So yeah. they made it very comfortable, very much like you're driving your luxury car. Right. Um, you know, Fleetwood does the same type of thing that American Coach does, because you know, because they're they're sister companies, so they're built on the same line. How how they dress up the top, oh, look they at dress that. up the uh, pillars there, the visors. So it's not just the back of the RV that that looks really mm -hmm. high end and luxurious. It is the front of the coach as well. So yeah, this is the new sharp. chassis. Um, that's going to give you all all the new features. And we'll when we jump in the RV, yeah. we'll get in there. This this uh, you know, and, and then uh, has your typical Ram front end. Um, what's what's unique about Fleetwood and these American Coach Midwest style products is the Eco Freedom package, and that's something that's that's the lithium package okay. on this. So, so there is there is a full 600 amp hour lithium package on this RV, um, and it also has the full solar. It has the big inverter, but what is unique to this is there's no propane. Oh wow! wow. Okay. So no everything, propane at all. everything is ran through through the electric on the batteries. There's no propane, so it's not a propane tank. Everything is ran electric. So that just gives you one more, one not more, one less, less thing uh, you have to worry about. You don't have to get propane, you have to worry about where to fill it, where not to fill it. So after you. A little magnetic little screen magnetic there, screen. pretty cool. That, that that works great. Pretty unique there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, doggies are there waiting for us. Oh, oh, look at there, Gypsy and Rocky. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at this chassis. So, so this is the new front end. This is the, the new ProMaster. Go ahead and jump up there. Yeah. This has the, the full digital instrument cluster there that 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 has everything that you're used to in your car you know it's not it does not some old-fashioned thing this has all of the uh, steering wheel controls that you have they've upgraded the feel and the look of the dash the push button start is probably my favorite upgrade yeah that's I nice. know that's a, a very big convenience thing but I think that makes a world of a good a world of a difference Tommy yeah. world of a difference look at all the usb ports i mean really nice c and standard and you've got this brand new card you know phone charger i mean yeah. that's super so just sweet stick your phone there and so that way it can be hands-free tons of storage tons of storage bottles, there more. 10 inch navigation screen with apple carplay 360 camera everything everything that you have in your car yeah um your high end i mean i know in your wagon here it's kind of the same thing and my really car cool. has all the same technology so you know really nice how they 
how they how they set all of that up to where you don't feel like you're driving some some plumber's cargo van. You're actually you know driving a nice nice luxurious thing. And so yeah, you can add apps to it. Yeah, this is cool. With you all can't the watch ads. Netflix up here though, Tommy. Don't don't. Oh, you get the aftermarket for the Netflix. <laughs> so, so you and have, the digital digital mirror. Oh too. yeah, the digital mirror. So that's really sweet. Those, you press a button and it can turn off if you want to see the actual yeah. mirror. Um, so what's nice and like a, you know, there's there are quite a few things that only Fleetwood or American Coach does. One of them is really dressing up the front of this, getting you know painting everything, the color of the interior, but giving you a Firefly up here. Yeah, that's so, nice. So this Firefly controls your air conditioner, it controls all your lights, it controls your your music, it controls everything here in in the RV. Your tank heaters, your inverter, your water pump, internet. Internet is built into the coach, so there is a router, Tommy, in the coach. Wow. So you have no internet way. everywhere you go. Yeah. I love that. My speakers. Yep, yep. The, uh, this is the Ash interior. So this is their lighter color interior. Yeah. These are JL audio speakers. That's called the pizza oven. Yeah. I like the pizza oven. I don't know. You ever heard that before? Yeah. I'm sure the Italian would like the pizza oven for the sure. The pizza yeah. oven. So as you kind of walk back in the coach, this is a Pro Master, so it's, you know, 20 foot long. Yeah. You have room for a nice big... Um, back this seat does swivel. You want me to swivel the seat around, Tommy? Should yeah, let's it? let's show everybody how that works. That's pretty cool. So there, so it's, it's really easy to swivel, and I think it really gives it really gives you an extension of the RV. And look how nice, like nice stitching on these for sure. Cool? I mean, this they is, really yeah, they dress so, that up. So I've nice. been to the factory in Elkhart, Tom. If you're ever yeah. up there, it yeah. is definitely worth stopping by and checking it out. Okay, yeah. you know Ron, my guy, they will give you a tour of it. And Thank it you. is a beautiful factory, and they actually stitch these by hand in their factory. Wow. Every no seat, way. every couch, every chair, everything, they stitch these by hand. That's amazing. So, so you walk through a room, and there's 50 sewing machines with 50 grandmothers in there sewing these things. Now, I don't know if they're not all <laughs> But they're all in there sewing these these seats and these the couches, everything in these, all of this stuff in here. They're making it there at their factory. They don't just assemble these RVs. They actually build them. So, yeah. That's so really, amazing. So really yeah. unique to find that here. You know, a lot of times you find someone that buys all the parts and just throws it all together. Yeah. But, but American Instead, coach, they care and they, they, just, do. they, they do. do every detail. So, so again, uh, you love this type of layout, Alice, where you're looking out uh, yeah. with the kitchen, for me, right? When I'm cooking, I get to look outside. So yeah. it's nice that you have a bright opening over here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, although it's great. So you have another Firefly here. This is the big, this is the main Firefly where you turn the fridge on and off. You control everything else. Here's your Victron um, energy thing. It tells you where your battery is, wh how much you're using, you're charging. Um, so all of that's controlled there. The whole lithium system kind of runs through there. They call it an eco freedom package, which is nice. And that's, you know, hints to the no propane, uh, 12 volt air conditioner, uh, the solar panels, the inverter, yeah. all, all, all that. So the, the, they do a really good job. I even like how they, how they outfit the fan. You yeah, know? A lot yeah. of times you see a white or black fan or you see like a, yeah. uh, an AC cover. They really go and they, they match everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Very cool. I know you like testing the bathroom, so let's, let's go give it a uh, Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's test the bathroom. Let's go. Let's see what you got there, Lee J. Oh, very cute. Very cute. I like so let's it. do our uh, let's do our up top up top there. Oh, up, up top, Lee J. All up right. top that. Oh, you want to open so let's do one. our Italian word of the day. How do you say bathroom in Italian? Bagno. 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 Just like Spanish? No, bagno. It's written differently, but it's this. Yeah, the pronunciation is the same. Nice. Yeah. Bagno. Bagno. Okay. And this one is a doccia. I do take a shower. Ah, doccia. Faccio la doccia. So that's pretty cool. Comes right on out there. Yeah, and then look at the design. It's very cool. Yeah, I, I like, like it. Like, yeah, that's a really nice metal features. Nice metal sink in there too. Yeah. Little and they got the porcelain. That's nice. Also, yeah, you very can see good. Even if you have 200 pounds, it works on you. Yeah, good okay. LED lights. Got the little fan little in. Fan there. I like how you can have both doors open. Wow. You get the you little. Just use the yeah. shower curtain and not feel like you're in the back cave. Oh you know? yeah, you're right. I just uh, feel like that. I don't like feeling like I'm in a coffin. Yeah. Uh, look at here. Nice chrome uh, plate here on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, every fill finish is really well done. Yeah, the fit and finish is nice on this for sure. Yeah. 
Very cool. They do a great job. They really, really do a great job. You know, some people put mirrors on here. Yeah. yeah. You know, they put mirrors here to the way you're getting dressed. You can look at it. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, it would be nice. It's a big bath, though. Yeah. Really cool. And I like the big double doors. I, I really like having it wide open. Yeah. Yes. I yeah, for someone a little bigger, I mean, this is definitely resolves the issue that they have with a lot of camper vans. Yeah, the, but the bathroom is too small. small. So this yeah, is a yeah, big yeah. bathroom. If you want a big bathroom and still have this type of layout with the fold down bed and the couch set up, uh, this is probably as good as it gets. Yeah, no. So as we move on, you have your induction stove, you have your fridge. And convection microwave. I know that's a big deal. Wow, yes, Liche, yes, there. Yes, you gotta, sure. like to, you gotta yeah, bomb Liche out. The first one in my wishing list. The first <laughs> one in yeah. your wishing list. All yeah. right. We'll go to the wishing well and okay. wish for it and see what happens. All right. All right, let's see. I you am gotta... a friend of uh, St. Nick, that. so it's good. Look at the, yeah. how huge, many clothes can you actually huge. put in. Way wow. more than you need. That would be oh, way, way more than you need in an RV. Yeah, yeah way. Well, for us, that's ideal, though. We're always crunched we for space. We go walking and, in, the, in yeah. the bed. So, oh, you know, yeah. When you're in a suit and stuff like that, you need So, that. So what yeah. I've seen people do here is use half of it for clothes. The other half for shoes and for stuff that yeah. they need. They 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 come up with a shelving system in here. So whatever you know, everybody uses these for a, a totally way. different way. You know, this is a good one for you know two people to sleep. But you have five seat belts in here also though, so five oh, people can drive. There's seat belts back here. That's awesome. So so you know you wouldn't sleep five people in here. Obviously, you would only sleep two. But you know driving, if if you want to drive five people, you can. So very versatile when it comes to that. And then being 20 feet, you can park in any parking spot. You can do anything you want with it. Yeah, it's true. So it gives you a lot of a lot of functionality and uh, flexibility to uh, to use. But this is a great great storage area here, nice and big. Um, and then as you kind of come back to the living room area, all right, we have, we have a, look at the a, nice lagoon, a lagoon table here. This is you want to go on the table? I actually think this is the coolest one, one out of all of these ones. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Hey, Rocky. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> do you approve it, Rocky? Do you approve it? Yeah, he does. What do you think, Gyps? You like it? Uh, she's not so convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Nice stitching all over that sofa yeah, there. Yeah, so the same quality that's yeah. up front, the same quality that's everywhere. I mean, I mean, look at this nice rounded, insulated. Yeah. Speaking of insulation, they they do a rock wool insulation in the whole coach. Yeah. Um, they also do a a wrap like a um a, a wrap also inside there, so everything is is double insulated. Um, so it's a really nice, big, nice big cabinets. These are really nice. They keep really dark. Yeah, really dark. Yeah. 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 If you want to sleep in, well, we sleep in anyway. But like if you really want to sleep in, this is really cool. So I like their hinges. Check out those hinges. Yeah, I was gonna say they're beefy. Oh, yeah. Heavy look, duty. And look beefy. That thing's not falling on your head. No. Oh, no, for sure. We that don't. thing is not falling on your head. Nice yeah, big. That's hinges. some old school hinges right there. That's uh, serious. It's on the fifty cent ones. That yeah. That. <laughs> and I also like if you do bump your head on this, feel that. I mean, yeah. It's nice I and mean, soft. It is. It's soft. You're not bumping your head on something hard. You're not yeah. getting a concussion. Yeah. And sometimes when you wake up in the night, you know, you need that. Yeah. Right? Well, in the rear storage, I mean, you got oh, all of this where a those. lot of these. This is. That's a monster nice. storage back in here. Look wow. at that. Yeah. Holy cow. You gain cool? a lot of space Big there. speakers back there. Lips of JL audio speakers everywhere as well in the back. And the pull down screen. And then you press cool. a button and this couch turns into a big bed. Wow. That's good. Yeah. And then this this crosses over it too. It does. Yep. 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 You put it there too. Uh, yep. These cushions Buttons cover in. that area there. And they, and they button so they can sit there. Um, and then you have an LG smart TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's hooked to the Apple TV that is built into the coach. Oh, wow. So there's an Apple TV built in and a Wi Fi router built into the RV. Oh, um, and Bluetooth. That Look is at a, here, HDMI and a USB. Yep. So that's pretty cool, yep, too. So they give you every everything you can possibly want. That Bluetooth thing hooks to your phone. Okay. Where you can play music on all these JL speakers. I nice. love that. So speakers up front, speakers in the back. You hook your phone up and you can, you can jam. Look, we have a three. Fly. That is the third firefly. Third firefly. Look yeah. at this. This is this guy's company. went crazy. Look, Look at this. Three fireflies in in the RV. Every oh, other more every USBs. other one just does one or two. This yeah. one does three. Nice so cup holders. The, I mean, what I love is the one in the front because yes. if you are driving and you want just to turn on and off yep. and stuff. 
you are just sitting there yeah. and take care of it. Yep. And that would be ideal for the pets or anybody in the back because, yeah. you know, so many times you stop and change the lights and yeah. depending on what time of the day it is. You know, something else that's cool is the 12 volt air conditioners. So, you know, 12 volt air conditioners are nice because they're very energy efficient. Okay. They are quieter than a traditional 110 air conditioner. Okay. Um, they also, when you're driving down the road with the engine on, you can, you can just turn it on. You don't yeah. have a generator on. You don't have to have, have anything else plugged in. You can just drive down the road, and then from that front firefly, just turn that air conditioner on. Wow. From the front firefly yeah. again. How yep. easy is that? Yeah. That's awesome. No, this, this Eco Freedom package is, is a really, really nice package. Makes a big difference when it comes to how easy it is to use the coach where you're boondocking and kind of what you're doing. Yeah. The Eco Freedom package is great. Yeah, lots of drawers, cool. That's why it's called Freedom. 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 Ah, freedom. These are the nice drawers, too, similar yeah, to what's in. Yeah, the dovetail, like. Wood. This yeah. is like what My mixed up with coach. Really nice. Yeah, it's very what kind cool. of work did your dad do in Italy? Well, he actually made custom furniture. Oh, ah, so, nice. Yeah, with my uncle, we have uh, their own business. And, That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, and then he, he owns a distribution then, company, too. in addition too. to that, yes. Yeah, nice. He also yeah. distributes furniture. There we go. Yeah. Tell him what kind so, of furniture when he, you know, makes it. High, high end. <sighs> like anything from Furla, uh, Living Divani, Rossana, all the high oh, brands. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Does he bring it here to the U.S. or just to Italy? Well, for him, he's mostly Italy. Uh, mm -hmm. He has some projects outside, like he did an airport in Russia and wow. uh, hotels uh, somewhere in Europe. But uh, mostly for him, is uh, gotcha. Italy. Yeah. He That's cool. On that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so you can appreciate the good furniture and then the handmade <laughs> stuff that, that, that some of these companies really go to yeah. great lengths to make sure that uh, things are nice. You know, I've really been happy with 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 uh, the Fleetwood American Coach yeah. um, relationship because they they really do a good a good job on the Class Bs. I they're, agree. But they're so used to making the expensive high end Class As that that when they start making these it was it was real easy for them because they're like oh all the same quality all the same insulation all the same functionality of of the big Class As we're we're gonna make the best Class B yeah. on the market so. Great job by Alice and Nick. No question about it. They do a great job with that Class B. But we've got another amazing rare one for you. The Tommy Bahama Interstate from Airstream. That's right. You probably haven't seen this one either. We had to throw it in there, grab some more popcorn, relax, and check this one out. It is absolutely awesome. All right, folks, take a look. Tommy Bahama Relax Edition Special Cooler Special Class B. That's right, folks. We got the Marlin on here logo, and you're not going to get to see this one too often. Everybody else has done the Interstate Edition uh, from Airstream and talked about this great Class B and what a beautiful vehicle is. They're known with this edition to be very similar to, to the Gretsch and some of the higher-end Galleria from Coachman. But guess what? Today is a special day because we've got this gorgeous 2023 Special Edition Tama Bahama and you're not gonna to get to see this too often and you're gonna love this video. So come on over here, folks. Take a look, beautiful outside trim on this thing. And as we swing around, plus this limited edition cooler, you're gonna to get to see the badging on here. I love this blue and white badging, super sharp, relaxed edition. Take a look at that. That is some of the nicest looking badging I've seen on a Class B. Look at all the power outlets, because if you're a Tama Bahama type person, you're gonna have to have your cable, you're gonna have to have your 110s, you're gonna have a TV out here, you're gonna be cooking, having fun, drinking margaritas, uh, and all that good stuff. It's a great time. Let's come around this backside here, folks, and you're gonna see this has got that classic you know, set up with the fold down couch. We'll go through there. There's some storage in there. Um, and we'll walk around and take you on the inside next. But over here, take a look at how well everything is put away. Beautiful electric hookup there. Nice metal. Take a look at that. Generator muffler, super sweet. Come down, all of the utilities are concealed. Really nice. All of your heat, all of your uh, waste tanks, everything that you need there. So overall, gorgeous looking, no question about it. Great looking unit, but let's take a look at the inside. Let's see what all this Tommy Bahama stuff is all about. And let's start right here, folks. First of all, you see you've got this really cool screen. So you can be cooking your food. You call everybody up, say, hey, I got the nachos. I got all the ceviche with all your margaritas with your Tommy Bahama Class B. And then you can close it down so the bugs can't come back in. You also got a screen right here, folks. Take a look at that. 
really nice retractable step super cool you see that on the higher end units you come on up and here's your handle here so they didn't forget the handle and look at there folks there's your firefly with all of your power and all of your different lights all set to go and take a look at that super cool there you go with everything else ags temperature controllers back to home shows your gray tank black tank all your propane everything else that you got going all right so let's take a look at this nice colors i love it really nice highlights here you have that brand new 2023 mercedes chassis and then over here take a look ba boom all of your other controllers flat screen and other nice firefly xantrex is in there everything you need all set to go and concealed put that away you've got your nice tv you can flip these swivel these seats around you can work on your computer eat your chow hang out and the leche can make you another ceviche <laughs> live the island life so that's what it's all about double burner yeah that's cool isn't it how they did that i love that some real theming that you don't typically get to see mm -hmm. on some of these uh kind of following like what they've done with denali with the trucks and uh, some of the other different models but nice faucet here uh similar to what you'd have in a house look at all the storage the first thing you got to think about when you look at these beautiful airstreams is this is like an airplane look at the storage all the way around i wish we had that type of storage in our class b and then look at the cup holders they're ready they know we got the margaritas we got the whiskey going wow. we got all kinds of stuff going all set up your little ice tray good to go and look at the size of this and then take a look at here folks you got the big old opening here with everything you need start clothes popcorn settings you want to have popcorn at night you got it beautiful love the colors love the stainless feel of this that aluminum look that airstream is known for ac right here super cool and then take a look at this nice this is just beautiful for a bathroom entry go ahead walk in there leche show everybody wow. what we got super awesome nice toilet nice shower nice led lighting on the top really bright and nice i think that's super well done and then over here you've got your nice tv another firefly they're all over this place flat screen control there you go with your lights everything else heats you name it, it's all on there super cool third one and then take a look cup holders we got more 110 outlets we got more usbs usbs we got the cup holders here we've got the 110s here really nice padding on this and then look at your nice marlin coming across the back of the dash all that extra storage with the extended mercedes all this here take a look at the storage how far back that goes that's way Whoa. back in there. That is something that we desperately are missing with our Coachman Beyond. Tommy Bahama right there, folks, stitched into it. Super nice. I love this edition. This is my favorite one. They even got the Tommy Bahama pillow. Relax. Beautiful. And then obviously with the switch, uh, you just power this down. This all folds down into a big bed. So if you're a big guy, no problem in this Tommy Bahama edition nice windows here nice storage on the sides here really really nice fit and finish i mean overall i'm impressed how about you alice i love it it gives you an idea of uh, beach and relax yeah, just the being colors are nice it's yeah beautiful. very sandy i mean all the lights are basically they're dimming down because the show's over and we got in here with airstream thank those guys so much they they've been great with how to have fun outdoors uh and uh i gotta tell you i love it definitely comment down below what do you think of this this one the tommy bahama edition or what about the x definitely check out that video that's super cool versus all the standard class b's are out there and tell us what you think what do you think about this model and all its features pretty sharp and thank you so much definitely hit the like button we really appreciate it. We put a lot of work into these videos. Definitely hit that subscribe button so we can get this channel. And thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors.